Episode of the Dan Geesling Show. I'm your host, the most persistent inquisitor on Twitch. That's right, we dig. When someone gives us a one word answer, we dig deeper. We get to the bottom of every story on Twitch. I'm excited to be here. You guys know. Here on the Dan Geesling Show. We have two goals. Two goals. Goal number one. Goal number one. Keep it clean. We keep it sterile. You got kids in your dining room. You're cooking grandma's chili. You got the family at the table. No, you don't got to turn down the stream. Anyone can watch. You got your Aunt Tilly. Knitting, watching Golden Girls next door. She doesn't want to hear a, bu a bunch of trash. You can listen in. You can enjoy yourself. When we come across individuals of an unsavory nature in whatever game we're playing, we clean them up. We get them out. You get the trash out. I'm trying to clean up the streets of Twitch one show at a time. Number two, we're here for entertainment. Enter. Entertainment. Not just gonna sit here and turn on a stream. We're gonna put on a show. Enjoy yourself. Sit back. Get yourself a cold one. H2O, whatever you whatever you happen to drink. Just don't forget two. Clean and entertainment. Excited to be here. Hope you guys are as well. Let's go ahead and turn down the beats. We had a little bit of an issue. The capital pulled on the deal. We had a uh, we had recording rights. We we had the the platinum singles pressed. We had the licensing deal in place. And all of a sudden, the tax man came to the door and said that was a fake signature. It was phony. It was written in carbon. It wasn't in ink. So as a result. We put something out into the ether, said, hey, you know what? We're looking for some... This, this, shit that we go ah, this one's gone. Get this one out of here. That was supposed to be a royalty-free, clean... <laughs> Get that out of here. As a result, we've had a few people step up. We'll be rotating some artists in until we find the perfect 
mixture of beats for the show. <laughs> um, so uh, this stream we're featuring beats from Eds, Eds, and Chagger. Go exclamation point music in the chat. You can see the playlist we have dialed up for today. We'll be on the hunt. We'll be on the search since Capital pulled on the deal. Looking for royalty-free beats. Nonetheless, what do we have on tap this evening? Got some more PUBG with randoms. Cut the music. Let's go. Through the wire. With a name like that, should always been a part of the Red Shirt Champions. Spam champ and chains in the chat. Welcome aboard Through the Wire. One of the single best songs of all time. Through the Wire is probably a champion in your individual business of a local electrician. Maybe you do some lighting work. Maybe you're known as the individual that changes all the fluorescent light bulbs in your community. But you're a champion at that. Welcome aboard. Shall we get started here? I believe we shall. We have some individuals... <laughs> we have some in, in, individuals to inquisit. Let's go. <laughs> Super Bentley. Welcome. Thank you so much for using your Amazon Prime account to support the show. Welcome aboard the Red Shirt Champion. Super Bentley, a name like that, I know you you, you got it. I, I'm going to go out on a limb and say you probably put a new finish, new paint jobs on regular Bentleys. Maybe a local artisan in the painting community, but I know you're a champion of industry. Welcome aboard. Audio good. Audio's not good. Someone's getting promoted. <laughs> Let's go ahead and dive. What is this outfit? Like someone was doing yoga. Let's get, let's get in our attire. What are we thinking here? Where's our, where's our pants? It's just... Some nice jeans. We are. I'll tell you, we're on the hunt for some Yeezys. We're on the hunt for some Yeezys. We'll get them, I believe. We gotta... We'll, we're gonna open this crate. In this crate, there's gonna be Yeezys. We gotta earn our way there, though. Let's see who we got dialed up this evening. Yellow Jacket. Go. Cool. Duke Leto. 13 months in a row. You've, you've had that red shirt champion shirt on for a long time. Let's Appreciate the 13 months of undying loyalty. Duke, I know, is a champion of industry in his local community. Being a, a duke of, of multiple real estate ventures. <laughs> hey, D-Mart, if that's a D-Mart I know, I can promise you this. Welcome aboard Redshirt Champion himself. A champion of industry in the, the game publishing world. In the raw fury dominance. D Mart, we may need you to come here and fix the stream here. Um, appreciate it. Welcome aboard, my friend. Welcome D Mart with the champs and chains. We gotta catch up here. CA Lynx! I know that name. You've been a champion without your red shirt for a while, but that's okay. You've been in the YouTube community, an NBA 2K fan, an industry of the round ball classic. Welcome aboard. Champs and chains for CA Lynx. I'll be catching up in between games. Oh, we don't know. You got a mic? You got a mic? Yo, what happened to our settings? Sorry, we got we got to find out here. Hey, you got a mic? Whoa, 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 whoa! What happened to our push to talk button? Someone's been messing with our stuff. Who's been in? Who's been in? Who's been in the studio? Where's our push to talk? Our push to talk is everything. Can't take that from us. Thumb mouse button. That's us. Yo, we're out of here. Get, get out of here. Well, that's, that's a bad. It's that's what, that's what that guy deserved with a name like that. Is the stream choppy? So I'm still. Uh, we're still wor working out a couple things here on the show. One is the the final schedule. Two is the, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, right now we have a golden champion computer. I think we need to, we need to pair it. Choppy like the Southern Ocean, but it's calmed down. All right. We got our mic working. What is up with our mic, yo? 
Yo, okay, we got it. We're back. We're back. Let's go. Choppy in the lobby in the plane. I think that's Blue Hole's MO. All right, what do we got here? Alice, all one son or Allison? We're about to find out. Also, let's turn on. Cut the beats. Thank you. Allison, you got a mic? Do you have a microphone? Do you own a microphone? I, I need some sort of indication. Okay, if you have a microphone, how come I can't hear you? Chat, we gotta throw this guy. You're, no mic? No team. Get this trash. Get him. Get this trash out of here. Get the trash out. Just, just, just please. Just get the trash out. That's the kind of trash. We're, we're keeping a clean environment. Uh, that person was not a clean individual. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so typically, if you're new to the show, we're batting about 300. That would get us in the Hall of Fame. So about uh, every three out of nine, we got someone with the mic. Comms are hell's under. Let me let me tee this up for you guys. H three double L underscore skull. This one should be a doozy. He is wearing the Garth Brooks shirt though. Hello, do you have a microphone? Skull, do you have a microphone? Can I ask you why you don't have a microphone? No mic? Get the trash out. Was this our third? We're still batting 300. <laughs> I'm telling you. This is the way the show works, though. With every roll of the dice that we miss, it's like you start with, you miss the dice. It's the inverse Vegas, okay? It's inverse Vegas. You start with one gold chip. You start with one gold chip, right? If you lose, unlike in Vegas, we double up for losing. Or therefore, not losing. For trading up for a better individual that has a microphone. So we missed one, now we got two gold chips except it's you don't just add one you double it so by the time if we miss like five in a row we're gonna be doing backstrokes in scrooge mcduck's mansion is this pool fill of golden golden chips all right dark ray x z mm, let's let's get a little spam one if you think he's got a mic spam two if you don't think so We gotta, we gotta wait for movement. You got, we gotta get a live one. We don't know he's here until we see little quick, little quick twitch, quick twitch. We got no quick. Hey, you got a mic? Second, we get a quick twitch, then we know. Do you have a microphone? I, we got a streak going here. We got a streak. I'll tell you what. No mic, no team. We, we may be better off going in a, a non-NA server. So I'm telling you. So now, so we we're now to eight golden coins, which means we can we trade. Do we want to push and go all in? Go eight golden coins for one ledger with the microphone, or do we want to roll, roll the dice again and push it to sixteen? <laughs> no Mike, no Tyson. Believe it. You got to sort through the trash to find the, the low graphics. Low graphics was a legend. One might even say low graphics inspired this entire show. Here we go. I see you moving. His name. Hello, my friend. His name is Stoner Simpson. What's up, man? Let's go. You ready to get that chicken dinner? Let's go. I'm I've been ro a few are. I've been rolling blank mics for about five in a row. Yeah, either that or fucking Asians. Yo, dude, 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 dude. real quick, uh, my little brother's watching. We just get, can you watch the language? Oh, I got you. No, for sure. This dude's name is Stoner Simpson 420. This guy's gotta have a story. Where do you wanna go? Yo, he's called the drop before we even get the. Uh, we're coming up on military base. We could go to the. We haven't even got out of the, the freaking. Yellow marker, the town. 
dude, you're on that advanced level strat, man. We haven't even uh, gotten the plane. Bro, yes, we have. Yo, yo, come up on it right now. yo, let's go a little less spicy. You feel me? All right, where do you want to go? Point it, map it out. I'll go with you. Let's go north, right, Rosie. No, we could do it. Just a little pump, man. Do you believe in the pump? Yeah, but it's too far, and that's all water. It's harder to get by over there. No, 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 but but look, we'll We're be right in a mansion. Mm, I'm, I'm trying to get or the. I'm trying to get my mama that mansion she couldn't afford. See, she's unbreakable, unmistakable. Ah, the Povka. All right, we'll we'll go to we'll go to Lipper. I'll right, call. Let's jump out I'll call the three, drop. Two one drop on one. Sonoma. This guy's calling the shots. Who does he think he is? Catfish hunter. See oh. if anybody else jump with us. I see one, two, one alongside uh, me. Uh, Dan, I can't. Well. Dan, I can't hear him. Once the game, can you guys hear him talking? Now, let me turn down. Do I gotta pull? Did you pull? Did you pull? I'm, I can't see him right now. No, he's still alongside me. Kept, They're going down a little bit. When more are they gonna? We gotta turn down the clouds, there. man. This guy is straight dialed. Oh no! Nope. Yeah, they're pulling. They're going with us. It's okay. We got. If you pull back, um, no, they're going to Lippers. Go, go to. We want to go to Mansion. I'm here already. I'm like almost on the ground. Okay, we'll have to squat up. Hey, uh, what's uh, what's your name mean? Stoner Simpson 420. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, do you own like a gravel pit or something? No. You don't know what 420 is? No, no, it's uh, April 20th? No, it stands. It is April 20th, yes, but it stands for something. Oh, it's uh, 420 units of something? Yeah. Okay. No, I don't know. I mean, like, does it mean something other than that? I really don't know. Well, let's just say it's a herbal remedy. An herbal remedy like, uh, like cinnamon? No, a little bit more herbal than that. Uh, like thyme, rosemary? No, like Bob Marley's kind of. Bob Marley had a spice factory? Yeah. No, 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 for real. I don't know. What do you, what do you mean? I mean, your little brother's there. Uh, could you, is there like a high level scientific name for it that he may not know? THC. Isn't that the, uh, the audio they used in Star Wars? No. Oh, I gotcha! I gotcha! Wait, wait, are you? Uh, right, try not, try not, try not to talk too much because you you didn't land close to me, and two guys did. So I want to make sure I don't miss their footsteps in case they try to sneak up on me. Yo, but I, have you ever won a random duo before? Um, I've gotten second place three times. Okay, well let me let me just fill you in real quick. I've won a lot. I've won hundreds of random duos, and you want to know the key to success? Yes. Open comms. So that way, the more we get to know about each other. When the heat of the battle comes, we can anticipate what the other person is going to do. You know, it's like uh, Pippin and Jordan. Yeah. Um, oh shit! I, sh I shot by accident. They, they might know where I'm going to be at. No, you. Uh, do you need? Do you need help? You need help? No. Okay. Okay. Um, can I ask you something? Sure. What uh, are you uh, uh under the influence currently? Um, slightly. Okay. Well, let me ask this. Do you work or do you go to school? You gotta keep it clean. Oh, uh, hold on. Shut up, shut up, shut up. I got footsteps. Oh, do, 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 do. Yo, uh, shut up is not part of our protocol. Listen, just come to my six. They're over here. On my way I to your six? People. Uh, can you, can you hang tight? Yeah. I'm just looting. Okay, I'm coming, I'm coming. Yo, so uh, what do you do for work? Construction. Uh, what are you in uh, like this, the the masonry work? You a plumber? What do you do? I do everything basically. We got to keep it clean. That's why he, he wants to talk about uh, herbal remedies. Good for him. Uh, I'm sorry. What do you do? You frame homes? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Shh, shh, shh. Yo, shh. They're getting real close. They're getting real close to me. Th thanks, thanks. I couldn't hear the footsteps. What do you mean, thanks? What do you mean, thanks? <laughs> Yo, what do you mean, thanks? Oh, he asked us. I'm going to avenge you. <laughs> uh, 
are you going to put that on us? See, the individual. Okay, so you have in life, you have champions. And you have those that aren't. You take onus. You get mowed down in the second floor of a red building. You don't say shh, shh, shh and then take your ball and go home. Take it like a champ. Sometimes you got to take an, an L on the chin. Look at this. I told you we're keeping Twitch clean. One show at a time. Let's see if we can get it. We'll get a few cheapies here. If we get two kills, that's a win. Shh, 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 shh. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Shut up, shut up. <laughs> yeah, look at him scattering. Scattering looking for Stoner Simpson 420. That's, that's pushy. Where do we think they're at? Stalking the prey. Stalking them. Sensing them. <laughs> Some people use sound. We use smell in the game. <laughs> hey, uh, good kill, buddy. Oh, damn, that's what you get. No, that's not what we get. <laughs> it's all right. Hey, we got to get a little of the rust off. All right. <laughs> run it back. Run it back. Let me do a little... Uh, let's dial it up here. Let me see. Uh, who did I miss here? I, I apologize. Uh, let me just give me... What do we got here? What do we got here? Weasel Cheese appreciate... 33... Years of being a red shirt champion. Weasel Cheese appreciated chance and champs and chains for Weasel Cheese and CA Links and Sith Load. The Amazon Prime. Thank you very much. Welcome aboard. All champions of industry, education, civic duty, philanthropy. Let's see what we got here. Alright, who do we got here? Basting Skydiver. Hey, what's up, man? You got a mic? Yo, you have a do you have a oh yes, we need Twitch. Do you have a, you got a mic? He's got one. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, how you do, how you doing today, buddy? How you doing today? You gotta go with who you gotta go with. Hey, um, can I ask you what your name means? Hello? Why do you need to know that? I've just never heard of the, uh, the word basting before. What does that mean? This kid's got it. He wants to go Razi. Well, this will be a quick one. Uh, we'll Where do you want to go? Yo, I, I, I'm just trying to understand what your name means. Hey, well, where are we going to go? Uh, once you tell me what your name means, then we'll make a decision. I don't understand what the name means. Alex. I'm sorry? So this is, this is an example. This is why you tune in the show. We got an opportunity to clean up Twitch. This is our opportunity. All right. Um, we're going... Uh, to Severny, are you you good with that? Hello? Yeah. Okay. Um, what does basting mean? Is that like best or something? Is um, that um basting means um crying. Does it really? Yeah. 
Uh, I never heard that term before. Where did you learn that? Can someone I didn't. look that up? What do you mean you didn't learn it? It's just, um... My first gaming console was, um... An Xbox 360. And there's just a random option. And... That just popped up, and I did that. But, uh, have you ever actually looked up the word on, like, dictionary.com or Urban Dictionary? Well, I know what it means. Yeah, I mean... But, how do you know? Like, I've... Just, honestly, I'm probably three times your age, and I've never heard that word in my life. Well... This kid... This kid. Maybe you should have gone to a better school. I don't know. Hey, hey, kid. Have you ever won a random duo before? Huh? I'm sorry, you said yes? I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you, sir. Hello? I said yes. Yo, this kid... We gotta get his parents on the line. Yo, uh, I'm just trying to win here. Is it, are you having a rough day, or like, uh, you know, is uh, some, everything all right, buddy? I don't, I don't know what I did to deserve the hostile behavior. What is that? Stop! What's going on? What happened? Turn that off. Thank you for the host, but it shouldn't be happening. <laughs> Turn it off. Turn it off. Sorry. Thank you for the the host. We got it. We uh, we don't have a host uh, alert yet. We need to have one. Um. Yo, you there? Yo, kid. Yo. We gotta have open comms if we want a chicken dinner. Kid's not talking. Hey, is your mic working? Is your mic working? Is your mic busted? Sometimes, if you gotta, this is how you clean up Twitch. You gotta clean it up with this way. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I didn't mean to do that. I really didn't mean to do that. Here, here, here's it. Here's the energy drink. I'm sorry. Yo, what's up with your mic? Hello? <laughs> I didn't I honestly didn't mean to shoot the kid. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, what happened? See? You never lose faith in humanity. Uh, no. uh, dude, I didn't mean to shoot. Will you pick up that energy drink and drink it. My bad, my bad. Um, dude, is everything all good, man? I I don't know what it, you know. Why are you giving me the hostile behavior? We gotta reel him back in. We got a chance at saving humanity. What hostile behavior? You just, uh, I mean, yo, yo, easy, easy. You're right. Where's the calls? Yeah. Where's, the, where's the calls? I don't know where he's at. He's okay. Uh, he's northeast of us. Just chill. Yo, come in the house. Come in the house. Go second floor. Uh, hostile behavior, dude. You're 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 giving me uh, what the English like to say, attitude. Do you know that you're do you know that you're giving attitude, or is that just your normal acquiescence? Yo, can you hear me? I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not giving. What hostile attitude, man? I asked you what your name meant, or what the word meant, and uh. You said I should have went to a better school. You should have said I should have went to a better school. I mean, oh, I see him. He's on the roof, that building. Yeah, I know. I, I'm not worried about him. I'll I'll drop him in a New York minute. I'm just worried about, you know, if we're gonna win this thing, we gotta lose the attitude, you know. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Okay. 
So you you want to start this thing over, and, and we'll just uh, start from square one. Okay. All right. So what is uh, what's your name mean? Crying skydiver. Oh, uh, okay. Have you ever been skydiving before? Nope. Okay. Is that something that you'd like to try at some point in your life? Maybe actually. I don't know. Maybe you will. All right, all right, all right. Um, so have you ever won a random duel before? Sometimes you got to reset. Yes, I have. What's the key to success in your opinion? Watch out, he's still up there. Um, nice person. Wait, is that a nice person? Basically, yeah, a nice person. That's basically the main part. You got to be a nice person to win PUBG? If you're playing randoms, yeah, I mean, I agree. Other person's not gonna, other person's not gonna want to play with you if you're an asshole. So. Yo, I I agree. We just gotta watch the language though. <laughs> be careful. Are you? I'm in here. Be careful though. They're gonna, they're across the street. If you, yeah, be careful. They're gonna light you up. If you if you stand where I am, you won't get hit though. I see. I see him. Um. Trying to help the youth of a nation. You can't just you can't just throw in the towel on him just because so he's a young kid. Yo, do you have a smoke? I don't have a smoke. Here, do this. Start spraying, then I'll crawl out. Maybe it'll work. You gotta spray now though. Keep spraying. Keep spraying. Keep spraying. Okay. Oh, nice try, buddy. Hey, don't let him keep you down, kid. A good attitude goes a long way. Never forget that. We gotta. We have to develop an advanced strategy. Cool. We have to develop an advanced strategy when dealing with the youth, because a lot of people say, "Oh, I'm not playing, not playing, not playing." That's an opportunity to clean up Twitch. Look, we might have came in a little too aggressive. I, look, true champion amidst their faults. We came in a little aggressive, but we reeled it back in. Let that be a lesson to us all. The youth is the future. Don't give up on the youth. Clean. Entertainment. <laughs> I didn't mean to shoot him. It was an accident. I was trying to drop the smoke. Um. <laughs> Diggly, thank you so much for using your Amazon Prime account to support the show. Welcome, Diggly, with champs and chains in the chain. I would love to see just the biggest wall of champs and chains. And red shirts. It would just I think it would just bring us good luck in terms of finding a, a legendary duo partner. Oh yeah, it's on your mic. Hey, what's up, man? Oh. What's up, man? Yo yo. Uh also oh, old yeah, red up. AMK appreciate the sub. A new member, red shirt champion. Welcome board chance and chains for you, my friend. Uh shave the sheep. Can I ask you what that name means? That's a great champ. Uh, That's a great nothing. champ wall. Just wasn't taken. Are you, uh, do you have an agricultural-esque background? <laughs> no. Why'd you say it like that? Why'd you say it like that? What's that? This guy's... Why did you say it like that? I'm frozen. Oh, I just don't have anything to do with farms. Oh, but, I got, uh... I got on farms when I was a kid. Uh, but I mean, shave the sheep. It sounds like uh, you know, someone in your lineage was like a, a yarn farmer. No, no, it's like Sean the sheep, but shave the sheep. Sean the sheep? Yeah, you ever seen that cartoon? No, I've seen Sean of the Dead. Oh, uh, Sean the sheep's actually kind of funny. Is it a cartoon? Yeah, it's like a what do you call that? Claymation, clay animation. Was it from the seventies or something? No, it's from British people. Uh, they interview farm animals, and the an farm animals bitch about... Uh, yo, 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 hey, can we just watch the language my little brother's watching? If he hears, learns swear words on PUBG, then I can never play in front of him again. <laughs> okay, sorry. Those people are pretty cool. It's a pretty say. wicked game to play in front of a kid, is it not? Well, I just tell, him, I just tell my little brother that the red stuff is, is uh, raspberry jam. Right? 
Yeah, you know, and it, it works. Are you freezing up a little bit? Totally. Okay. Somebody it's a- just swam by like they were underwater, but they weren't. Yeah, that's all right. So shave the sheep. Have you had that handle for a while? Uh, I've only been on this game like a month or something. Oh, no, I know. But do you use this in like World of Warcraft? Is this a name for a lot of other things? Oh, no. So you just made it just for PUBG? Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. it's Steam. That's what I am on. Steam. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, so while we're waiting, uh, do you go to school or you work? I work. I'm old. I'm almost 40. Really? I was going to say like 25. Uh, what do you do for work? Uh, security, like electronic security, cameras, access, bird. So you like run the matrix? No, I uh, install the shit. Yo. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to Yo. Sorry. Um, what do you uh, who do you install them for? Like uh, billion dollar clients? Oh no, this, I mean whoever wants it. A uh, lot of pot shops. We have legal pot here, so we do pot shops a lot. Why do they need uh, so much security? Oh, they have to have it. It's uh, federal. Uh, government tells them they have to. All right, drop on Sonoma to a drop. What do you mean the government tells them they have to? Um, regulations and stuff. Like, they have to have every inch of their place on camera. Or else what? Oh, they get shut down. They get sat down? Like, sit no, shut uh, down. Oh, shut down. Okay, okay. So you go there and install them? Yeah. What's, uh, what's like, a challenge that you face in installing cameras? Like, is there the the conduits? Are they, like, rusted out and stuff? No, I mean, it's just... It's a pain in the ass. Just walls in general are a challenge. How did you become so proficient in the, in the art... Dude, you got a dude behind you? In the art of um, cool. surveillance. Oh, man, just... Did it forever. Been doing it 15, 17 years. Yeah. I know. Did you start out like st- installing Skype webcams or what? No, I actually started out with Comcast doing um, CCTV or you know uh, cable TV and shit, like internet. Yo, you gotta watch the watch the language. Oh, sorry. It's okay. Like closed circuit TV, like cable access. Yeah, yeah. like uh, you know, Time Warner cable, all that stuff. Oh, I got you. I got you. Okay. Comcast. So how did you go from? Uh, Matrix installer to PUBG player. Ah, uh, dude, I just play any game. This one just came up on Steam as like popular or whatever. I read some reviews, looked cool. Oh, okay, so you, you read some reviews and like, ah, I'll give it the old college try. Yeah. Yo, what's uh? Have you ever come across any weird scenarios installing uh? Security cams? Like, eh, what does this guy really need security cams for? Uh, no, nah, nothing like that. But it sounds like there's something else. What's like the weirdest situation you've had happen? Uh, this chicks like hanging out naked while you do the install, trying to sell you like I don't know. I think I'm pretty sure this one lady was a hooker. But... Oh, what do 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 my? We just gotta want you know. Oh, <laughs> yeah. She's I I can't explain to my little brother what that means. You know. Weird. It so, pretty weird. Yeah, it's uh I was like, man, I don't know if uh they can do this install and she's like, Oh, you know, it's fine, everything's cool. Like, Alright, whatever. Did it, everything was cool. Left, everything was cool. Time to pivot. 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 I got you. Are you from the Midwest? <laughs> That's our instant uh, Colorado. Okay, so slight Midwest. Uh do you go skiing a lot? What's what sort of uh winter activities are you into? Uh, I used to board a lot, snowboard, but getting kind of old for it. Now. What do you mean old? Don't you? Your knees are still in good shape. Let's go. Cool. Ah, I was tired. Don't really want to go, you know. Tired from what? From being old. How old yeah, are you? Almost forty. So you're thirty-nine. Yeah. What? Uh, do you have any fears about going over the hill? No, not really. Just kind of sucks. What sucks about it? 
oh man, you're like you don't bounce back like you used to. You uh, bash your shin on something, and that hurts for you know way longer than you used to, like a ridiculous long time. Sometimes you're well, thinking, oh, I'm just cool. going to live with this for the rest of my life. No, that's yeah. how it is. Do you ever think maybe it's uh, your body's actually becoming younger and you're used to the pain? No. No? Dude, like a cut takes 10 times longer to heal nowadays. What's this guy doing to his body? Uh, is that yeah. pretty standard for the, the aging process? Like you don't heal as quick? Oh, absolutely, yeah. Old Dude, if an old person gets injured, they could die from it. Like. A small injury break an arm die. Mm, i don't know about that man they have a lot of experience in healing so i think it would just happen quicker <laughs> no you never heard of an old person dying from breaking a hip that shit happens every day yo uh, gotta watch the language oh, no that but it, it's not root from the hip actually breaking it's it heals so fast the body doesn't know how to acquiesce <laughs> no oh for, you're, you're being for real like so if you like bang your your elbow Installing a webcam, it's like, dang, man, that's that's gonna be a weak G Hill situation. Yeah, like just any little injury, twist an ankle. You know, it used to be over it in like two days. Now it's more like a week and a half. Dang, man, do you uh, what sort of physical activity do you do to keep your body in tip-top shape? Uh, not too much anymore. I played hockey for a long time. Do you still play? No, nah, they shut down the rink and turned it into indoor soccer. I got a 4X for you. And you don't feel like taking up soccer? Nah. Do you ever think about getting back on the old uh, grid ice? Nah, not really. I don't know. Nowadays, I just pretty much bike, run around, walk. And work in general is kind of a workout. Oh, you bike, though? Yeah, yeah. Like Harley Davidson? No, like uh, ten speeds uh, mountain bike. Oh, you do you have a rifle? Yeah. Okay. What do you have? M16. Okay. Um, what do you mean? So you stay in shape? I mean, if you're biking around the hills of Colorado, you're gonna be you're in decent shape. Yeah. Okay. But uh, dude, I I gotta push back, man. I don't think. Oh, dude, we we need a car. Do you have a vehicle? Mm, I have not. We've seen. gotta There's find one. ASAP Rocky. Uh, Oh, gas. I'll pick up some gas. Um, I don't know, man. I'm going to push back on you. I guess I, I can't really say because I'm not of age, but... I don't How think... I, I'm uh, in my early 30s. But I don't feel old. Not? Nah, I mean... Like, I've kind of cut... Like, I like hooping a little bit, you know? But uh, I've seen a couple blown ACLs and blown Achilles. And I'm like, eh, do I love it that much, you know? Right. But I I mean, you don't even notice like bruises and stuff don't heal like these two sore joints, uh, you know, just stuff you get just I'm sure you've twisted an ankle, you know. Yeah, I mean I maybe it's part of it is like I don't want I don't want to believe. But I mean you, you get a maybe a little ache and pain, but to me I, you just kinda put some mental ice on it and get back out on the rink, you know? Yeah, but no, I'm just I'm just saying the point is they just last a lot longer nowadays than they used to. You know, those stupid like just a stupid little injury that's not even really an injury and it just hurts, you know, way more than it used to or should. What do you uh what's what's your diet like? What 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 do you consume on an on an average day? How far are we by the way? Oh man, just go. whatever. Pretty much crap. Like you know, I'm on out. Define crap. Out. We got a Dotsie. Uh, we got a Dotsie. Let's go. Fast food type crap, you know. Like, uh, would you, if you were to look at your credit card bill, what would be the most frequent fast food stop? Probably Chick Fil A. Oh, uh, dude, that's not crap. <coughs> that is, dude. That's terrible for you. What do you mean? It's just fried. chicken. It's fried for one. It's the baked. Fries are fried. Everything's fried. Well, I mean, no, it's not baked. Yeah, it is. It's breaded. It's breaded and fried. It's baked in uh, Colonel Anderson's eight spices. Oh, we got to You see this? You see that buggy up there? Oh yeah. I was just thinking where we want to cross the bridge. We could uh, just hang a hard right. Mark, right just mark it. Here. I'll go wherever you mark. What? Are you blue? Oh, it's right there behind us. Hang a right. Okay. Um, head over that. Got gotcha. Head over that bridge. On a scale of one to ten, what do you rate your PUBG uh, skills at? 
average. Okay. Maybe a little above average. Okay, okay. Uh, you know, from playing this, though, I have gotten a lot better at other first-person shooters. Just because, you know, this one, like, it matters more, I guess. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. What, do you like Triple Diamond and uh, Overwatch or something? No, uh, the other one I play a lot is uh, Battlefield. Battlefield uh, 1. Battlefield 1. Yeah, that's a kid's game, right? Uh, no, it's like World War II. Oh, so it's like for historians? No, no, it's just like this, but it's World War Two. Oh, it's a, uh, it's like uh, Last Man Standing. But yeah, I mean, you just continually spawn back in, you know, and you're trying to take take checkpoints. Oh, maps. got it. So it's like a, it's like a kids game. Uh, I mean, no, it's <laughs> like bloody and death. Yeah, but I mean, I this is like this is for grown-ups, man. It's a thrill to kill. You make one mistake. You know, you got to pay Uncle Sam. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's just deaths don't matter in it. You know, it doesn't, it's no big deal if you die. Right, but out here, man, it matters, you know? This is... I'm, well, in that one, I mean, you just lose the overall game. Like, you'll lose a checkpoint because all your team died or your whole squad died or whatever. So you'll lose a checkpoint. You don't like and winning? If that happens too many times, then you lose, then you lose the game. You know? Yeah, yeah. Where do you want to go here? Because I like winning. Uh, we can just stay on the outside of the circle. Uh, you think we got enough loot to make it happen? Uh, yeah, I got four times scope, AK, I got, I only have 40 rounds. So. Okay, I, I just don't want to go through the city here. So, uh, what's your situation? You have, uh, you have kids, you married? Uh, one kid, divorced. Okay. Cool. Uh, how come it didn't work out? Uh, I think it was postpartum depression. Uh, sorry, sorry to hear that, man. On her, on her side, like she got kind of crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, I. Right after we had a kid, she was like nuts. Dude. I got you. I got you. You have a boy or a girl? Girl. All right, all right, all right. So, so now you're you're living the life. What was that? Yeah. We got. Yeah, dude, pivot. it's way better being single anyway. I'm leading myself down some dark alleys. We got to get ourselves out of that. <laughs> I don't know. Just being able to do whatever you want. Yeah, no, I got you. An anybody. I got you. I mean, Colorado, yeah. man. Being married is like living with your mom. You know what I mean? Mm, I wouldn't say that. But I don't want to say ruffle feathers. You want about Colorado? I mean, like, you, you got all the outdoor activities and a lot of room for them. Let's go in here. No, no, check it. It's open. Is that open? Is that door yeah, open? It's, yeah, it's open. Okay. Um, yeah, it is. Back one's open. Yo, we got a car up here. See the U.S.? All right, we got to find... Yeah. We got to hunker down here a little bit. Yo, so what's life like in Colorado? Never stepped foot in the state. Uh, these buildings over here are good right here. To our they left? don't look looted. Yeah. Okay. What's life like in Colorado? It's chill. Everybody here is pretty chill. Ah, uh, yeah, it's open. There's open doors. Yeah. All right, you want to get out of here? Here, you drive. You drive. You drive. Uh, I'm gonna take a painkiller. Quick. You're good with a four X, right? Yeah. Hey, what year were you born? Uh, seventy-seven. Okay. So he's, he's actually forty. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Where are we going? Um, do you own the company you work for? No, no. I've worked for some pretty small ones, you know, that uh, just were privately owned. Do you ever think about like pulling uh, some Game of Thrones move and then take all the equity and take over the company? No, not really. Yeah, it's, it's, with it's, security contracts, it's kind of. Yeah, you gotta have a lot of them. You know, like if you were doing like a home security type thing. Uh, this still looks unloaded. Good. This looks unloaded. You're not even any good, so you have ten or fifteen thousand customers. Thousand? Go, go, go! Oh shit! Where the hell is that coming from? Oh, it's right there. Okay, right on the other side of the wall. You get him. Oh, 
Ah, oh, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> oh, man. Well. Let's dial it up. Dial it back up. Last gunslinger. Appreciate the 30 months. Champs and chains in the chat. 30 months being a red shirt champion. Appreciate it. Waba Fettini, welcome back. Amazon Prime. You but you went away for a while, but you, you missed the allure. I know you did. You, you went off to college, said, I want to be an academic champion. I want to be a champion of the Greek life. So you came back. Welcome back. Mac in space. Three months. Thank you so much. Champs and chains all around. Thank you so much for the support of the show. We got we got a good one dialed up here. Got a good one dialed up. <laughs> you lit up your own partner. I may have pumped him with a few bullets. Uh, Kashik, do you have a microphone? Oh, they left. They saw the name and left. I don't resent anyone, sheep over. That's not a champion-esque move. Um, speaking of, where did our, our songs go? I gotta, I gotta use our own songs. Let's redial, redial. Redial it back up. Alright, all right, let's go, let's go, let's go. We're in this. Okay, good. So, um, I kind of like this as a potential intro song. The guy's brain only knew cuss words under pressure. Look, man. Pressures either makes diamonds or carrots. You, you choose. Clown man 173. <laughs> Cut the music. Hey, clown man, do you have a mic? We gotta, we gotta locate his individualism. Hey, thanks, Mac. Where's, where's clown? Hey, you got a mic? Clown man, do you have a microphone? No mic, no teammate. Hey. Oh, you got a mic. What's up, buddy? Yo, what's up? You ready to get win that chicken dinner? You're damn straight I am. Let's go. How come you, uh, did you have to turn your mic on or something? What was up? What? How come it took you so long to turn your mic on? I don't know. It was just loading in for a while, I guess. Oh, I got you. Okay. We. I think we got a good thing going. We were seconds away from it. Actually not being a thing though, you know? Dude, I'm about to get this chicken dinner. Yo, yo, can I just, uh, can I amend that statement? Yeah. What about, we're about to get that chicken dinner. Oh yeah, shit, we are about to get that chicken dinner. It's all good. Hey, can you watch your language? My little brother's watching. So where are we going? Yo, can you watch your language? My little brother's watching. Yeah, where, where are we going? Let's pump to Hospi. It's a little bit of a distance, but we can make it. All right, you were Hospius. Yeah. Two one drop. On Sonoma. All right, so Clown Man one seven three. How'd you get the name? I have no idea, dude. I was just really bored, and I tried to think of a cool name, and I couldn't. So I was like, I'm just a clown. So now I'm Clown Man. Like, are you a clown like as in jokes, or clown as in, uh, you know? Like a rodeo uh, whatever, clown. Whatever floats your boat. I have no idea. I know, but it's not my boat that's named Clown. I'm just trying to figure out what sort of boat I'm in right now. The boat that's about to get a chicken dinner. Okay, so I just need to know, is it a serious boat or is it a uh, jovial clown-like boat? It's it's a funny boat. Okay. I with can a serious undertone. Dude, that's... And, uh, and determination. Okay. Lots of determination. I can appreciate that, man. You sound like a champion. Have you won a lot of PUBG duos before? What'd you say? Have you won many random PUBG duos before? Never. You've never won one? No. Have you ever had well, any? I, I actually won one twice, but unfortunately both those times were at my cousin's house on his computer using his account likely story so i won them but you know he actually won technically. What, what was his uh handle i think it's the big e so he's not in the clown family no okay. no okay well i i got good news for you 
Today's gonna be your first PUBG victory under Clown Man 173. So. I I really do hope so. It's not I really hope. It's not hope, it's a promise. Well, then let's do this. Let's get that let's get that chicken dinner. I like it, I like it. Um did you ever was there any other names in contention besides Clown Man 173? Was there any what? Were there any other names <laughs> in contention? No. No, not really. When it, I when I when I first thought of this, I was like, this is who I am deep down inside. This is me. He's, he's There's memeing. no other He's memeing us. I can respect other than that. this. How long do you think you how much time do you think you put into coming up with the name? Like I'm not being like funny, I'm just wondering. Um probably like like ten minutes maybe. Okay. Not even. Actually, it was probably only about 30 seconds. Like, I don't know. I can respect that. How about you? Dan Geesling, if that's how you pronounce it. Hey, dude, I'll tell you what. About 1 out of 10 people pronounce it correctly, and you, sir, were one of those 10. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. Hey, I appreciate your, uh, your efforts. What's uh, So what's your story? You go to school? You work? What do you do? A little both? Uh, a little bit of both, actually. What do you Just do? Just graduated high school. Nice. What do you do? Going the workforce. What do you do for work? Um, a little bit of everything right now. I'm trying to actually start my own business. Oh, nice, man. I respect that. What sort of business? Um, selling shit on Amazon, yo, most likely. Yoke, you watch the language. Oh, yeah, sorry. Sorry. It's okay. Uh, what, what sort of uh, various goods? Uh, I don't know, actually, yet. Still, still in the uh, figuring out phase. Got it. A young entrepreneur. Right now, yeah. You got the yeah, world. Right now, I'm, I'm, right now, I'm just working, uh, like, uh, different jobs and things, trying to uh, save up that cash so you can make that first inventory purchase. Yeah, exactly. I understand, man. Imports, exports. Why did that choke go in front like that? Um, what are, what sort of odd jobs do you work nowadays? What sort of odd jobs do you work now? I think we lost him. Yo, you there? Do I lose you? This is always the point in the show where you wonder, is this guy going over to Google, typing in the full name Dan Giesling? Yo, you're there? I'm here. What happened? I don't know. For some reason, I just lagged out really, really hard. Uh, anyways, I was asking you, what sort of odd jobs do you do right now to save up that, that green cheddar? Um, I help people move. Um, let's see, I also do some handyman things for others. Uh, what do you Those mean you help people move? Services. What do you mean you help people move? Like, uh, like you need some things moved, then you call me and I come over and I'm like, hey, I, I can move that stuff, and then you give me money, and I move that stuff for you. <laughs> like, uh, like packing boxes? Or are we talking furniture? A little bit of both. Okay. How'd you get I mean, into that? Right now, it's really just a uh, more of a family-oriented business in which I help my family pack and move their stuff. But I'm hoping to expand my um, my uh, clientele a little bit. You know, maybe get some people who are not family. I can respect that. What uh, What are you doing for marketing right now? Um, nothing really, because like I said, uh, this is really just kind of like a in the middle job until I get enough money to uh, start up my uh, my real my real business. So. All right. So pretend we're on like Shark Tank right now. How much seed capital do you need to pick up your first inventory load? About ten thousand dollars. Ten. Yeah, ten. Okay. Have you anticipated about roughly how long it would take you to save that much? Uh, about six months if I don't spend anything. Which I don't really because I'm still living with my parents, so it's kind of easy to not have to spend any money. Yeah, dude, that's you're you're making all the right moves, like Steve McQueen. What about you? How did you come up with with uh? What, what 10, about you, dude? What are you doing? How did you come up with ten thousand as the 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 magic number? Well, that's just how much I need um for shipping and inventory prices, so. Uh, right now, I'm just trying to find something that, uh, an item that will, uh, in a market or genre niche, most, uh, most likely, 
that isn't dominated by a larger by a larger company name brand product as you this might dude call them. is so a business I analyst can actually um come in and sell my my things on Amazon in place of the big name brands or until one of said big brands moves into the space but that's pretty much it right now so I need that I need that ten thousand dollars to actually pay for inventory shipping prices because I'm getting my <laughs> things dude, manufactured in China he's got a business plan and then, um, <laughs> yeah that's pretty much it so I need that and then I also need enough money to keep my inventory levels high while I take losses for the couple first couple months that way <laughs> that way I can sell my items for cheaper while I so that people will buy them and then once I have a more reliable like uh more reliable customer base then I can move on to more I guess like I can I can increase the price a little bit but also purchase more items from my manufacturers that way that way I'll be able to bring down the cost of production but also and the more money I have the more money I can make because it's all just a games of a game <laughs> how much money you're making and sh you you think life's a game it is a game and i'm gonna play it i'm gonna play really hard <laughs> you sound like you got that whole white label business figured out my friend a whole what the white label business yeah 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 you didn't think i knew label. about that white label life did you no, not really, but... Yeah, you, you were trying to explain you? it to me like uh, a first grade. Look, I appreciate it. I need a lot of things explained to me. But, I, but dude, it sounds like you got to... So what do you do? It sounds like you got a plan. My question is, when is the first action step going to happen? Also, can you squat up here? We're getting close to the blue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, right now, uh, now that I know that you were also in this business... I'm I, I, I didn't say it was... A, I didn't say it was I'm in the business. I'm still not going to inform you. No, 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 listen, 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 listen. I didn't say it was in the business. I said I'm aware of said business. All right. Okay, so just... You're not a... I'm not I'm not a competitor. I'm not a competitor, kid. I'm not a competitor. I'm I'm an acquiescer. Just in case you want to get into the business in the future, I'm not going to inform you about what product I'm selling, but I will tell you that I am, in fact, selling a product. And so... Are you... Is it on the market right now? What? Is it on the market yep. right now? Can I see it? Or yep. No, or, I'm not going to tell you. Will you tell me I'm what? Not tell you. Will you tell me? Uh, because then you're going to know. I just I just told you that it was a good product to start selling. So in the future, if you ever want to actually start since you are knowledgeable of such a thing, then you would say, hey, I remember when Clown Man told me that <laughs> I could go and buy this product and sell it, and I would make good profits because it's a good product. So unfortunately, I cannot inform you of that. But... This kid is a I am robot. telling you that I have a product and I'm just waiting to get up enough startup cash so that I can uh, afford my first shipment. Yo, yo, come, come over here. Come over here. Um, but let okay. me ask this. Uh, this is just a life lesson. There's two ways of, of looking at the world, right? There's one where it's like people are out to get you and steal from you. The other is people are out there to help you and, and boost you up. I'm in camp too, buddy. And, and the sooner you learn that, the sooner we're going to have a plate full of chicken. Well, uh, let me ask you this. What what business are you in, then? I'm a former teacher. A what? A former teacher. And why are you no longer a teacher? Uh, I had to go away for a little while. Go away and, like because you did something scandalous, or you need to go away because you found a better form of income? Yeah. Selling things on Amazon. <laughs> no, no, I found a, a, a different uh, life path. I, di I didn't get in. You know, I, I'm a very clean. It's, I'm all about clean entertainment. Uh, very clean life, but it was just uh, time to for a new challenge. You know. Oh, I get you. I get you. Um, but anyways. So what did you? What did I teach? Yeah. I used to teach. Uh, freshman biology, health. Bus oh, business, cool. economics, environmental science. Shall I continue? I mean, you could if you want. I don't really want to. So Where let me, did you teach? Uh, at a what state? A private high school in the Midwest. Oh. 
Um, let me ask this: What is your uh, is your family supportive of your uh, drop shipping efforts? Actually, yeah, they are, and it's not a drop shipping. I'll have you know, kind sir, but in fact, a private label business. But yeah, they actually are. They actually are super supportive. That's cool. Is your is your company called Yeezy Ships It? No. Do you know? Do you like Kanye West? Um, a little bit, I guess. Let's go! I told you, dude. We were inches away from this chicken dinner pairing not happening. You know? Yeah. You don't sound if too concerned about just, it, though. Yeah, you know, because like, unlike like this is a video game, dude. You know, if I lose, I lose. Wait, wait. But, this is a what game? A, a video game. No, no, no. This is a life or death. I I guess so. What do you, wait? That what do you sense. mean? It's if you lose, you lose. I mean, if I lose, then then I'll just get and go and try and get paired with somebody else who will hopefully bring me to the chicken dinner. So what if someone comes along and smashes your your private label business? You're gonna say, oh, if you lose, you lose. No, no. Then I'll then I'll either take legal action or I'll just find a way to shyster them. <laughs> uh, what do you mean by shyster? Well, I can't really tell you that or discuss it because then it would be on record and. You know, that's not a good thing to have. Uh, would you be open to a discussion in which maybe you, you can live in a world where you don't have to shyst people? Well, yeah, if people didn't try to take down my business or beat me, then yes, most likely, but, but it's, I an unfortunate, it's an unfortunate... Watch this spin back required, on him! Watch this spin! You know? But uh, didn't you tell didn't you tell me life's a game and a game's you know meant to be played and in a game you're gonna have competitors and so you're gonna someone exactly, someone beats exactly, yeah. if someone beats you you're gonna call legal action you're you're not gonna f no you're not gonna no. work harder smarter someone, faster no I would but that would include shystering them but that's not really See, that's not that's not part of the game that's not part of the game though man that's that's outside the rules and regulations no, of not. life it is no it's not. If I shyster someone after they try to shyster me, I'm just. I'm not. No, no, no. I'm saying not saying that you got shyster. I'm saying they flat out just beat you. They're like they got a better product at a better well, then, price. Yeah, then I would just have to. Then I would just have to. Try harder. Then you'd have to what? Try harder. Okay, so it's still. I, I like to, to find the good in people, and I'm like, no, this kid's not a shyster. But you're out here talking about the shyster life. I bet you never shysted anyone in your life, and that's a good thing. Not yet, at least. I'm waiting for my first victim. I would uh, I would encourage you strongly in life uh, not to shyst anyone. Okay. I'm serious. Um, I'll what, do my best. What do you, I mean? You take a shortcut in life, you know that's that's a shortcut you never get back. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm serious, man. This so, is a, this. Is I just want to ask you again to uh, elaborate, maybe on uh, what business you're currently in. You know, but before we get, I'll tell you that, but before we get into that, um, I'm really concerned that you're going to go out in the world as a shyster. And I feel like you have an opportunity to be a beacon of hope for young entrepreneurs like yourself. But if you put the message out there that someone beats you, you're going to shyst them. I feel like, you know, instead of being a young leader in, in, in your thought space, you could be a detriment. Well, I mean, I could just try harder and that would be good, but... Shystering is just another tool in the toolbox, you know. You just got to use it. I, uh, what, by shyster, could you like give me not in the Amazon business, in another business, could you give me like an example of shystering? So, in any business, it would just be a borderline legal illegal business move that would result in your gain and the loss of another, or an otherwise tricky, or not so clean event or action that would result in your gain and the loss of someone else. Wait, when you said you said legal or illegal? No, borderline legal to illegal. Okay, so so define so, so meaning like that Mark Zuckerberg kind of like Mark Zuckerberg kicking out his partner. That would be a shyst, right? Because he tricked his partner into thinking that he was still getting 40% of the business when in reality This kid watched the Facebook movie and he thinks he's him. And diluting his Mark shares Cuban. to the point where he had practically no no sway in the business. Yo, was, uh, uh, what did that you, would be a shyst. What did you think of that movie? It was a pretty good movie. But, you know, I also 
read facts as well. Although I did originally learn about that event from a, from a movie. I also do some research to find that, you know, that there are other things in this world, you know. So I don't I don't solely base my my facts on uh, movie plots, but <laughs> what, it was a good movie. What sort of um, publications do you use for factual research? Wikipedia, always, dude. Always. Wikipedia, 100% all the way. When it, when it comes to Wikipedia, like, there is nothing other than facts there. Uh, now, really just... I think you It you're, can really just be I, any... I, th I feel like... I feel like I just... There's nothing that could ever really be infallible or or not not like uh not otherwise corrupted. So it's better to just kind of find this information dude can talk. from a, a wide variety of sources and then try and just find the the middle ground between all of them because that's usually the truth. Um don't you aren't you a little concerned that Wikipedia is, uh, sometimes gets memed up a little bit and so it's not yeah, always there factual? A, there was a joke. That was a joke. I, I don't actually use Wikipedia. I was I was being sarcastic. Oh, okay. I I missed that in your tonality, but that's all right. Yeah, so once again, I want I'm just to ask you like no. what what business are you in, my guy? Cuz I I got an I got an idea of what business you might be in. I think you're a sharp mm -hmm. individual. I think I am too. I also don't think you really have a, a little brother there watching this game. <laughs> uh, but what, that's, just, what that's just me. What makes you say that? Well, just the fact that why would a, a grown man, a teacher, an ex teacher. Former teacher, yeah, former teacher. Former teacher who knows this much about business and such, why would he playing a video game with his little brother sitting right next to him and or living in the same house or in the same house with his little brother can playing I, that video game. Can I tell you why? Why? Because I'm uh, currently babysitting. That's definitely not true. Put on put on your little brother then. I want to say hi. Okay, hang on. Give me one second, all right? Yeah, it's taking a little long for him to be sitting right next to you, dude. I know, but I have to explain to him what's going on because he's he's not. No, you don't. He's you not don't. supposed Just to. to yell he's high. not supposed to talk to strangers. <laughs> oh well, I'm not a stranger, dude. Over the course of this game, I think we've become pretty good acquaintances, almost friends. Well, tell your little brother. He just said hello. What? Yeah, that was Google. That was Google. <laughs> you don't think that that was the Google where you could just type in a word and it'll it'll say it back to you. You put in Google Translate and that that's how that works. Dude, so, uh, I, I don't appreciate you you slandering my little brother. Well, unfortunately, your little brother sounds like a. We gotta go. We gotta. Like we, we gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. So uh, we were talking about Kanye earlier. Did you, what's your favorite Kanye song? I don't really listen to Kanye that much, but Graduation was uh, probably my favorite album. Dude, I I have a higher level of respect for you than I did one minute ago. Well, thank. You know, uh, you know, two days ago was the ten year anniversary of Graduation being released. Really? Yeah, I'm I not. Even, not. I'm not even gassing you up. Yeah, no, but I really like that album. It's got a lot of good hits on it. Did you realize that you're a champion in their eyes? I, I did. Yes, I, I did. did. In fact, all I right. Did. So I how did. we? So let's let's shift the focus. How are we gonna win this thing, man? Twenty four alive. That's pretty amazing in its own right. <laughs> yeah, and we haven't even seen anybody yet, so I don't I don't know. You seem to be a professional at this game, but that's just my opinion. My uh, my uh, opinion. Yes, yeah, so. Well, I like you, you better probably, than I did you, one minute earlier. Yeah, do you, uh, you wouldn't happen to know how to win, would you? I've got a few chicken dinners under, uh, you know, under the old level three helmet. No, that's, that's pretty good. What about yourself? I've cooked, a 
I've I think I've cooked one or two chicken dinners chicken dinners in my uh in my pan, but you know, other than that, not really. Okay, that's all right. Hey, sometimes you gotta. And I'm I'm gonna die soon anyway. I don't even think I have. Oh wait, never mind. I do have some health. So. We got this. We got this. Listen, sometimes you just gotta dial it in. You know, and uh, let's just chill here for a second. Are you uh you okay on boosties or you need a boost? Yeah, yeah, I got a med kit. Okay. All right, so I think it's time for us to uh to cut the small talk here and yeah get some kills. We uh, do you have any scopes? Nope. Okay. So we're going to kill a duo here. We're going to take their scopes and then um, we're going to be all right. This is actually like a, plan. a pretty good spot for this second, but we need to find our, our next is move this here. Oh, I, I, Okay. We got two guys to the left. They're, they're way too far to shoot, but they're at 60. You see them crossing? Yeah. Yeah, I see him. I see him. What kind of gun you got? You uh, M16. I don't think we can. No, no, no. Get back. I don't think we can win this battle. Rule number one, uh, kid, okay. only fight when you know the outcome. And now if they come up here... On, on the old road to perdition. See, or if they go under the bridge. They go under the bridge, seems, then we got them. Seems like they might might be doing that. Uh, we'll probably need to go up on the bridge so we don't get toasted by the blue. But uh, just hang tight yeah. here. Stick with me, kid. You'll learn a thing or two. All right, we should probably... We got to move up on the bridge. They could be up coming on the left side, but... They're going to hear us if they're under the bridge. That's okay. All right, so they're definitely under the bridge. All right, we just want to get safe here. So, so where are we going? Uh, we got these guys are near us somewhere. Just uh, stay in these rocks right here. See this crevasse? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I lost those guys. Where do you think they went? They're definitely just under the bridge. Okay. So we gotta we gotta make a decision. We either double back and light them up, or we wait for them. I'm gonna um, well, they're gonna be safe for in this zone. Do you I'll have any flashes, flashbangs, or you wanna? Oh, you wanna flank? No, them? no, you stay right there. I'm gonna see if I can. Okay. I, this is not uh, behavior I condone. I like to stick together here. Dude, I don't see them. Well, then where are they, dude? Sit yourself down! Both you kids! Yo, come down here and enjoy the spoils of war. Alright, alright. Let's go! Yo, kid, it's not it's not about shicing people. You you can outthink people. Let that be a lesson to you, my son. You need that AK? No. <laughs> Do you believe me now? You don't have to shice people? Yeah, maybe a little bit, but that was a little bit of a shyst right there, so. No, 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 man. That was just out thinking your, your opposition. All right, let's press. It was, it was a little bit of a shyst, too. What do you mean? How was that shyst? It was, we played within the confines of the game. Let's go yeah, this way. I guess way. so. Let's, let's, go, let's go this way carefully. I'm going to mark it. Let's go, like, right there. Um... Dude, that's that's clean clean gunplay right there. We gotta watch our left side. You seem like a pretty cool guy too. You maybe want to add me on Steam after this. I'll tell you what, we win this chicken dinner. Consider yourself added. All right. We gotta be careful here though. It's we're exposed. Let's just uh, hit hit the deck here for a second. Let's just we don't want to be the guys to to start the conflict. We want to be the vultures that. Scavenge. Uh, so th let me, uh, what did you learn from that, that bridge? Uh, oh, we got two guys in front of us. They're on the dirt turf about 121, but don't, don't shoot. Yeah, I see. Um, what did you learn from that little bridge, um, escapade just there? How to sneak up on some people? How to play the game by the rules? There you go. You don't need the shist, man. Okay. Yeah, but see, that's we the got... thing. Life doesn't have any rules, so you play the game however you want. Uh, the federal government may, uh... Yo, we gotta go... We're gonna have to kill these guys in front of us. Alright, let's go, let's go. Will you watch our right side? I'm watching our left. Yep. Oh, we got a guy dead in front of us. Two of them. You got him? You got him? You got eyes on him? 
I'm gonna go left guy, you go right guy. Oh, kid, get to the, get to the, get to the white. No, oh, I'm dead. You got this, kid. Get, get out. Of, yeah, yeah, yeah. You got this, kid. Dude, this is where the student becomes a teacher. Come on, clown man. It's all on you. Okay, what kind of G hills do you got in your pocket? My man. Just some bandages. Okay. Eight alive, man. Alright, this is where you, this is where your intellect takes over. Your your business savvy. How you feeling right now? Pretty good, pretty good. Okay. Uh can you reload or are you out? I'm not trying to mind flood you, I'm just trying to, to guide you to yeah. a championship. I would dude, I would just let them fight. Then you come up, clean up, be the hero. Oh, nice try, man. Nice try. I wish you best of luck in, in your uh, entrepreneur endeavors, my friend. Thanks, dude. Ooh, not a bad run. Not a bad run. I, uh, I like to think in life... That kid was on a path. Maybe, just maybe, we shifted his path. Cleaned him up a little bit. <laughs> um, is that coconut I'm drinking? It's actually, uh, it's nectar straight from a bee. So I took a syringe. I lined up about a thousand bees. They just floated down. I took a syringe. It's bees nectar. <laughs> Hey, Sanchi, appreciate it. Sanchi, appreciate it. Um, Saturday Night Salt, appreciate the sub. Champs and Chains for Saturday Night Salt. And Sergeant Mace, appreciate the bits, man. Chains in the chat for Sergeant Mace. <laughs> it's, this, is a, this is nectar from a bee. One drop at a time. <laughs> All right, let's dial it up. That's a great champ in chain wall. He kind of played you a bit, but you got it. But yeah, no, the kid didn't play us. It was, it's all, it's all part of it. If you're going to be the most persistent inquisitor on Twitch, you're going to have to take some else. I don't know how I feel about a rain level. <laughs> he shiced. We're trying to. Make... You have a mic. What's up, buddy? Oh, thank God, someone who's fucking speaks English. Hey, uh, no problem, man. Dude, uh, my little brother's watching. Can you just watch the swears? Yeah, not a problem. I'll keep it down. No, you don't have to keep it down. Just, uh, just the f bombs, you know. Yeah, that's what I mean. I'll tone down the language. Oh, thanks, man. Um, can I ask you? How do you? What's your name? My name is Chris. Oh, no, I meant in the game. Like, Lost X five-year-old? What does that mean? So, it goes back ways back into middle school when I made my first Xbox account. Is there a story behind that? I basically troll people on a lot of games online. In, uh... Pretend I'm a five-year-old. Oh, okay. But I'm, I'm glad to see it. it. sounds like you've left that behind. Yeah, just the names kind of stuck along. Um, when you play with randoms, does anyone ever, like, suspect of the name? Uh, we'll go Hospi, 2-1 drop on Sonoma. Drop, drop. We're get, this is now another um, opportunity to clean up Twitch. Really bug me too much about the name. One show at a time. Uh, do you have a lot of random chicken dinner wins? Nope. Uh, do you have any chicken dinner wins? No. We've got a lot of second places. I'll tell you what, my friend. Today's your lucky day. You know why? 
Why? We're serving out chicken dinners. All right, so this guy's going uh, south side of Chicago. Let's go north. If you can go north, go north, north of Hospi. Ooh, it's, it's going to be spicy, dude. Just get inside the building, stay alive. Yeah, yeah, nice drop, nice drop. Come on, give me the, give me the, give me, give me. All right. Oh, we just went evil here for a second. All right, I got a pistol. What do you got, kid? Got a pistol. Okay, we're on the same side. We have to run this, this floor. All right, no one enters this floor without proper credentials. You got me? Got it. Is that, is that you shooting? Nope. Okay. Uh, do you have anything better than a pisty? Uh, I'm looking for one right now. Oh, give me this bad boy. Okay, we should probably try and stick together. You're still on this floor, right? Okay, I looted yeah. all this. All right, all right, let's hide, 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 hide. They, they got us outmatched. Just, um, okay, someone's come. Can you stand where you can see down the hallway, but they can't see you? Yeah. Okay. Don't don't peek though. This, we're gonna we're gonna plan our moment like it's never been planned before. Okay. Okay. Because you know they're coming over here, right? You believe that? Oh yeah. I don't hear any footsteps to you. We just gotta watch your back. That's the only thing. Is it yeah. choppy, guys? I'll have to get uh. I'll get the second stream set up. Oh, Yo, I like your patience. <laughs> Very patient. I don't hear any steps, right? No, I know. Definitely heard. Okay, they're close, dude. This is our moment. Yeah. All right, so here's how we're going to do it. So when we see someone, no panic, right? We're going to wait for him to go into probably... All right, so see the furthest door on the right, this side of the hallway? See that little... Yeah. So we're going to wait till he gets to like leave the second door on our right, and he comes to the first one because he's going to think it's not looted. Then we jump out, and that's our moment. But we got to be able to keep your finger off the trigger. You got me? Yeah. Okay. It's pretty choppy. Today. I think we got, we got a we got a lot of ass show assets going on. We'll get it cleaned up. It's only the second episode. Oh, I see you with that silent killer. Um, what do you think? Okay, here they come. You saw that? Yeah. Okay. I can't believe they haven't come here yet. All right, I say let's give it till the, the green's about 2.30, then we'll make our move, okay? Okay. Does that sound good to you? Yeah, that works for me. All right. Let's, uh... Let's go. Can you walk? Yeah. Yo, I kind of feel like Bruce Willis and Die Hard. Yeah. Uh, I don't see anything, dude. I don't either. Okay, let's make our move. Let's go down. Yo, they're, uh, I think they, they cleared out of here. Yeah. We should probably do the same, huh? Oh, nice, nice, nice. Um, so what's your story, man? You, you work, you go to school? Yeah, I work full time. I am, uh, work at Best Buy. Nice. Uh, Nostro, appreciate the, the bits. Whoa, what, what are, you? You, are you in sales? Uh, I was in sales, and then uh, they moved me to customer service, and now I'm going back to sales as a smart home expert. Why Why did they move you out of sales? Because I was so good at uh, basically de-escalating customers. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. What do you mean de-escalating? That's what we um, do. When, when customers come in out of policy, we, and they're like six months out of policy, and they fucking... 
Yo, dude. My bad. Yo. My bad. They scream and curse and just go all. Of... They're basically just really vulgar. Um, I don't know why, but I have a way of just making them calm down. Yo, loot the building to the right. What's the trick, man? So, like, say it came in guns blazing, not not literally, but like figuratively. What do you do to calm the person down? This I mean, I look fixer. at it from their point of view. I just say, yeah, I understand the situation. Yada yada yada. Um, this is how it is. It's not. I'm just the messenger. It's not a store location policy. It's a corporate wide policy. Yeah, but doesn't that just tick people off even more, saying you can't do anything about it? Yeah, but I say it. I say it fairly modestly, and, uh, like, can and a you, lot of the times they'll wait. Let, calm let down. me set, let me set this up for you. So, oh man, dude, you, I can't take this TV back. It's 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 got one pixel off. What, what's wrong with this company? What would you say? I mean, nothing's really wrong with the company. Um, might have just got a defective. What do you mean? Uh, well, you sold me a defective TV. No. Well, okay. So. No. The, okay. What? You you okay with selling me a defective TV? No, I'm not okay with selling you at an effective team. Then why are you smirking? I, I put out good money for this. Yeah, and I understand that. Um, reason being is we get defective TVs all the time. So it's so you knowingly get, get bad TVs policy. and you sell them to customers like me and say, oh, it's tough luck for you, buddy. No, it's not that it's tough luck, but I mean, you live in Grass Valley, so it shouldn't have taken you, you know, four months to bring it down here. Well, so you, you're saying that I'm slow? <laughs> is that funny? Not saying you're No, I mean, I, I'm insulted. Can I get the manager, please? I, I don't like the way you're speaking to me. Sorry, but I am the manager, so... Okay, well, can I talk to the, the district manager? Yeah. You're also, turn right off your phone right. when you're talking to me. How can I get a new TV? I want the new TV with no bad pixels. Contact the manufacturer. So you're telling me there's nothing you can do to help me? Nope, it's not a Best Buy -ish related issue. It's a uh, Samsung related issue. So you have to contact the manufacturer, and I can give you their customer service phone number if you'd like. We'll look on the back of my receipt. It says I can take it back within four months and get replacement value. Uh, at the bottom of every receipt, it says there's a 15 day return policy. 15 day days? Activated devices. Wait, wait, is it 15 days or 14 days? It's 15 days on everything except for activated devices. Activated devices have a 14-day return policy. Well, let me well, well, let me ask you this: My TV broke on day 17. So what is that? Just tough kittens for me? Unfortunately, yes. That's outside of the return policy. So you have to go through the manufacturer to get the TV. Repaired. There's got to be something you can do, like a gift card, a discount off my next TV, something. I mean, I can talk to my manager, see... I thought you were the manager. Maybe give you a free... I thought you were the manager. The manager above. I, when I asked to talk to them, you said I don't have this number. You asked to talk to the district. Yo, yo hang tight, hang tight, hang tight. <laughs> uh, we're, get, we're putting this thing in the drink. No, we're not. No, we're not. Uh, where's the nearest bridge? Wait, so, so you're actually you're pretty good at it. Has any oh, has anyone uh, pushed your buttons where you lost your cool? Oh, hundreds of times. I've kicked people out of the store. How do you do that? You I work for them. them. Uh, basically, this is how that goes down. It's uh, fortunately we don't we no longer want to do business with you. Please leave and never come back. If you come back, we will call the police. We have the right to refuse service to anyone who we deem fit to. So you've literally kicked people out of Best Buy. Oh yeah, I've kicked six or seven people out. They've told me to go kill myself. They've told me uh, a lot of stuff. <laughs> That's not very nice. No, I deal with a lot of bad people. What, do you think it's bad people or do you think they're just having a rough day? They could have just been having a rough day or they were actually just very vulgar and mean people. Do you believe that? That they were having a bad day or that they're just mean people? That they're vulgar and mean people. I believe they're vulgar and mean people. Some of them are. Some of them are just having a bad day and they're down on their luck. Do you think uh, you think you could ever clean it up? 
clean up the uh, the vulgar people. Yeah, like, do you think someone comes in and they're, like, maybe salty, extra vulgar, but you're like, hey, you know what? Today, I can clean this place up. We do it a lot, actually. Um, our store in particular, we do a lot of exceptions on stuff. So, like, we have people that come in saying, hey, I know I'm a couple days out of return policy. I just didn't make it down here in time. And, uh, and we'll go ahead and exchange it for them or give them store credit. Ah, so you're telling me the keys to the castle are you bend the knee and then yep. they'll let you behind the, the north wall. Something like that. <laughs> ah, that's, that's a good life lesson, though. Hey, you, you come out guns blazing, you're going to end up with an empty clip. You go in, you yep. pop the, the full clip, you put it on the table, say, hey, look, this is the cards I'm dealing with. Sometimes they'll deal you an ace in the hole. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's good, man. I'm, uh, you seem pretty young to understand life. But, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm 21. 21. So I'm not super young, but I'm still dude, a millennial. Dude, 21? <laughs> You're barely getting your customer service chops right now. Yeah. So anyway, so if you're so good, so you're good at sales, good at disarming people, so that they put you behind the Geek Squad desk or what? Uh, no, so I'm actually moving to smart home experts. So I'm going to be dealing with all smart homes, smart lighting, uh, Wemo switches, Philips Hue. Uh, See, this guy knows his product. Amazon Echo, Google Homes. I'm going to be doing all that stuff. So like smart refrigerators. Uh, yeah, I would be dealing with smart refrigerators as well. Um, there is one Samsung fridge that has a 35-inch. Uh, it's I, I call it the uh, the Tesla display because it's literally a Tesla screen inside of a fridge. Really? Yep. It's pretty cool. Do you know how to work it? Oh, yeah. It's essentially a giant tablet. But what does it tell you? Like, oh, you need a uh, more skim milk today, honey? So the nice thing about the smart... Ooh. The smart fridge, um, it'll actually let you view inside of your fridge when you're not at home. So you can actually pull up, look inside your fridge when you're out shopping, see what's in there. Um, you like, can leave oh, oh, okay, uh, get, down, get down, get down, get down, get down, get down. Uh, get over to me. I got, oh, uh, buddy, I got two guys to my east. I don't know if they saw me, but stay low. Whereabouts to your east? Uh, they're, they're like a, a nade toss away. There's one guy to my 75, one guy to my 105. I'm going to go left here a little bit. The other guy's hard right. I'm going to pull up on one of them here, though. Wait, so there's a webcam in the refrigerator? Yep. It's There's a camera on the back of the, the tablet. Uh, I still don't have eyes on these guys. They're super far. I shouldn't take that shot. Um. All right. So, where you get, dude? Can you get to me? Yeah. Uh, wait. So you can use? Is it like a top-down view? Yeah. There's a car coming. You hear that? Yeah, it's behind us. Uh, bearing three forty-five. Oh, buddy. They just I'm, jumped out. Yeah, I'm in trouble. I'm faced towards them. Uh, okay, you I see. You got one guy coming up right behind you. Yo, give me, give me some crossfire. Give me some crossfire. Dude. He's resin him, go push him. He's resin him, go push him. Light him up. Oh lord. Fuck.
can sell a mean electronic product. Filled with potatoes. <laughs> wolves at my door, thanks so much. Eight months in a row. Champs and chains for Wolves at my door. Dark Gem, thanks so much. Use your Amazon Prime account to support the channel. Champs and chains for Dark Gem 7. Vaping Kiwi. Welcome aboard, Red Shirt Champions. Slide on the red tee, a champion of industry. I'm going to guess you, sir, are a champion of the produce department with a name like Vaping Kiwi. Nostradamus at the 100 bits. Thank you for the support. Shall we dial it back up? Man! We learned a thing or two about customer service. Clown Man is in the chat. Yo, Clown Man tried to big boy us. Clown Man tried to big boy us. <laughs> All right. Dreestrom. We got a live one. Well, let's see if they move. You're a former... You're a, uh, I knew you were a champion of the education industry. Dreestrom, you got a mic? Dreestrom? Uh, do you have a microphone? Do you have a microphone? You Hello? Did? Hey, what's going on? Do you have a mic? Yeah, how are you? You ready to get that chicken dinner? This is gonna be this is either gonna be gold or it's gonna be fool's gold. He left. You don't leave us. Get that trash out of here. We leave you. Who does this guy think he is? Who does he think he is? Get out. Get that out of here. <laughs> get that out. <laughs> Run it back. Jeez. Is uh the feeds choppy? Ooh. Get that trash out. Yo, yo, what happened to our music, though? It has been. So I just need to, um... I think I got to set up the second PC, but we'll, we'll get to that. We'll get to it. It's only, it's only episode two. Working out all the, uh, the glitches. What's up, man? You ready to get that chicken dinner? I'm hungry. All right. Have you ever won a random duo before? Okay, what, what's I, I've never actually won a random duo. What's the secret of success? Kill everyone and don't die. Got you, got you. This is gonna be a tough cookie. I can tell you right now, we got our work cut out for us. But we we welcome the challenge. You want to be a champion? No, it's not gonna be easy. Uh, what do you? What kind of drop you feeling like? I'm feeling whatever you're feeling. Okay, you want me to call it? I want you to call it. Um. Milta? No. Uh, yeah, let's go Milta. Milta? Milta, Milta, Milta. Milta. Yeah, yeah. Uh, how do you say your name? Gerhardt? Call me Luke. Luke? Yeah. Okay, how come not? Uh, we'll drop on Stenoma. Two and drop. Ah, uh, well, how come you don't go by your, uh, Gerhardt? Well, that's my last name, but it's like, it's easier to, like, if we're in a fire, like, Luke, Luke, instead of Gerhardt, Gerhardt. Yeah, yeah, but Gerhardt, you sound like Regal, like uh, the lineage to the Scottish throne. Not Scottish, though. Uh, Irish? No. Nope. What is Gerhardt? German. Ah, the German lineage. I, my dad's Hitler. Uh, how, what's this, 19, like your jersey number or something? Yeah. Okay, um... Dude, it's it's extremely uh, spicy here. I think let's let's bail, bail. Bail. Where are we bailing? You want to go to the compound right behind you? Where'd you mark? Yeah, go blue, blue, blue. Here? Yeah, yeah. Good call, good call, good call. Um, so for real, that I was I was kind of misleading you. I've won a tremendous amount of duos with random players. 
Uh, do you want to know the secret to success? Sure. It's honestly, it's having like big time open comms, having an, a conversation. Because what happens is in the heat of the moment. So during these kind of down times, right? We, you know, little little banter. When the heat of the moment, when the AKs are drawn, I don't need to guess what you're gonna do because we're already on the same page. Kind of like uh, Kobe and Shaq, you know. Uh huh. Uh, but anyway, so w what's your story, man? You go to school, you work. What do you do? Um, high school. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, what, do you, what about you? Uh, are you do you get pretty good grades? Yeah. What's what's like pretty good? Uh, I got a four point GPA. For real? Yeah. Are you one of those kids where it's easy, or you actually work hard at it? Depends what class. Like science and math, that's easy. That's just that's just right up your. Uh, yeah. You, you can handle that. Yeah. Okay, I can respect that. Um. Do you have, are you in any extracurriculars? Uh, well, I play lacrosse. And I volunteer with special needs kids. Dude, you got a lot going on, man. That's pretty uh, commendable. What about you? So I'm guessing that's why you're allowed to play PUBG because, uh, you know, you, you sound like you're a pretty good kid. Yeah, that and it's my laptop and I'm, I can do whatever the fuck I want. Yo, dude, can you watch your language? My little brother's watching. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what uh, what kind of weapons you got? Uh, S6 and AK. Okay. So good. We're kind of strapped right now too. Uh. All right. What's uh? Let's see. Look at the map here. Let's head uh. Let's go farm. Are you eating or something right now? No. Were you laughing? No. When I'm bored, I just go like. Or do you like, is that your nose or something? No. My mouth. <laughs> All right. Um, so what do you think you want to do? Do you want to go to college? you want to get a job after school or what? Yeah, I'm going to college. For sure? Yeah. What do you want to study? Computer engineering. You want to program or what, what do you want to do? Work on like server farms and stuff. Like to mine Bitcoin? Sure. What, what's a server farm? It's like, and, and like, it's like in like movies when they get to like a server room with like a bunch of servers and stuff and they have to like pull something out of it. You know what I mean? Like yeah, the, like, like the long line. It, that's, yeah. It's called the server farm. Like they pull out like a motherboard or whatever, whatever those yeah. things are called. Okay, okay. How come you want to do that? Uh, I've just always been interested in computers and that's kind of like right up my alley. But you seem pretty like set on a server farm. Is there something about the farm that you particularly no, like? Well, that, that's like one of the main jobs of a computer engineer. I'll do other stuff, but that's like a lot of them. That's what you work on. Oh, like network like, admin. You work. Yeah, because you like I like I work for like a tech company on on like their server farm. You understand? You know what I mean? Yeah. Have you ever um, visited a real life server farm? Yeah. You have. Yeah. Do you have like a. Uh, uh, connection in the industry or something? Uh, yeah, sort of. What do you I mean? Got, like, well, like my uncle's like. Yo, uh, dude, I got a guy uh, south of me. He's probably west of you. He's he's runner. You see him? No. Uh, come on, come on, come on. I'm point. Okay, see open fire. He can't get us both. Do you still have eyes on him? Where'd he go? Is that stranger? Good knockout. All right, where's his buddy at? Yeah. Well, clean it up. Uh, I almost said twitch one second at a time. Uh, can't can't give away our cover. Give me that copy, son. Nice work. Thanks. Nice work. Give me that copy. Yo, he had Yeezys. What? He had Yeezys. Nice. You respect the Yeezys? Alright, so how do you have a connection in the server farm life? Oh, Jesus. I don't know where I'm, I'm getting, uh, behind me, behind me. Uh, Are you still alive? No. no. 
Dude, stay with me though. Stay with me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay with you. Dude, a fun time, what happened? That was his buddy, I, wasn't it? Yeah, I got off his guy and then he like ripped me apart. That's right. So, how do you know someone in the server business? Mm, we had an uncle that has a startup, and then he interned with Google. And like he knows a bunch of people. I've, I I went to Google and like checked out the place and stuff. I met a bunch of people. You went to Google? Yeah, like yeah. Yeah. What's it like? Is it like uh, did it's robot it's, it's baristas give you coffee? Yeah, it's, it's it's just insane. It's so cool. Like, tell me about it. I've never. You're talking to guys never been to Google. <laughs> I am explaining. It. It's like imagine like a playground in a building, and that's Google. Like a kid's playground or like robot world? There, no, like both. There's robot. There's like slides to get from place to place. There's like so much going on. There's such cool technology. It's so cool. Let's just talk like, about slides and I technology. It, I can't even explain it. It's well, just, all right. Just let me let me set the stage. So you, you pull up to Google. The front door is open. What do you see? A huge, huge building with robots rolling around. Slides going wait, from wait, floor what's, to floor. Wait, what's with slow plods moving around? What's that? Like robots like doing stuff like around you see that buggy yeah uh like slides from like second floor to like first floor third floor to second floor it's like people with computers running around it's just it's so cool does anyone do any work or is it just all uh, like a fun no, hangout they're, like, they're, they're doing work but it's just it's just so cool did they're you like see their work, server right? farm yeah i saw it, it fucking huge dude you gotta watch the language freaking freaking huge dude how no offense like i don't mean to be insulting like, why would they let you in their top secret server farm? It was like, I don't think it was like their main one, but it's like, they just like let us like look around and stuff. We didn't like, we just kind of like opened the door, walked like from one door to another and just looked at it. Did you I, meet? I, I, don't, I don't think it was their main one. Did you meet Jeff Bezos? No. no. Did you meet Elon uh, Musk? No, but I met, I'm talking about the guy I met was like, but he was like the vice president, uh, not of Google. Eric something, Schmidt? Like, something like, no, not of Google. It was like, what is he? He's the vice president. He's of, of like some like a uh, vice president. I think it was like social networking or something. He gave Mark a Zuckerberg? Yes, it was Mark Zuckerberg. <laughs> no, what uh, what kind of startup does your uncle have? Um, it's for a. Uh, it's like, it's like a fantasy football kind of site. It's like, it's hard to explain, but it's like, it's kind of like a fantasy football, like, not football, but sports site that transfers money between places. Is it legal? It, yeah, it's only illegal. He only does in states that are legal. Uh -huh. that I know of. Oh, uh, okay. Well, he, I know he probably does in illegal states. I don't really know. Did you, um, did you work for him? Nah. You didn't work for I'm him. just like, uh, is the, uh, I'm only 17, so technically it's like, not really. You can like, work at 17. Said, yeah, but like, he says he wants me to do like a year of college, and then he'll let me do like a uh, internship with him. You think he's just testing you? Probably. Why don't you tell him I'm ready it's now? A, it's also understandable, because like, because he's like, there's like a kind of a list to get in so it's like kids who like already graduated college trying to get an internship or in college you know what i mean so if they said like his 16 year old nephew coming into internship like the whole nepotism thing and stuff yeah but nepotism is Every life man embrace it it is but i don't know some people get butt hurt about it yo but what does that have to do with you man you got your foot in the door i know but i know <laughs> he's like just after your college i was like okay deal after a year of college, okay. Why don't you ask him, why don't you go hang out with him like one day a week just to get some like skills? His, he, his like, his start, his uh, place isn't near me. Or it's like, he, it's in New York City, but I'm in New Jersey, so it's like a two hour drive that I really don't want to do every, Let's go. you know what I mean? Yeah, but what, you know, uh, Puff Daddy used to take a train three hours each way to go hang out with uh, record execs back in the day. Well, I'm not Puff Daddy. But you could be. <sighs> yeah. Uh, speaking so what, what of, do, about you, you? do you like Kanye West? Um, I like his music. Why do you say it like that? I don't like. I don't really like him as a person. But I like his music. Uh, how can you separate the two? I don't know. 
Yeah. Oh. Rip them apart. I will watch. We play the long con here. Uh. See? You didn't know the Steve McQueen was right here for me. We're going to chase him down. Wait, so why don't you like Kanye? I think he's arrogant and selfish. Why, why do you think he's selfish? <laughs> we don't need to go on my whole political views and personal views, sir. Run, them, run into them, you won't. You don't have the balls to run into them. Yo, dude. Oh, Watch this. Watch this, you ain't seen you? nothing yet, kid. They think they think the hunters become the hunted. Not in this life, son. <laughs> Did I get one of them? Yeah, you knocked him out. Alright, kid, I wish you best of luck at uh, your gambling site. <laughs> we can't we can't go solo. Can't go solo. <laughs> Ain't no profit two months in a row. Red shirt champion. Appreciate love. Sergeant Shannon, 21 years of donning the red champion shirt. Thank you so much for the support. Craftable, welcome back. That's a resub. You came back. Craftable. Champs and chains in the chat for the three triple entendre. Is it, um, so yeah, so the, the choppy frame rate, I'll have to look into it. I, what is it, just when there's action? What I'll do is I will, uh, before the next show, I will, uh, I'll set up the second computer. But uh, look, I didn't want to delay it anymore, you know? I didn't want to delay it. We would have missed out on conversations with a kid who likes server farms. <laughs> Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Let's go. Let's get a little heat going. Uh, one spam one in the chat. I think we're gonna get a legendary duo. Spam two if we're gonna get a scrub. When a lot of things goes on, it lags. Okay. Yo, I work on server farms. I didn't even know that's a real thing. I thought it was just Bitcoin. Oh, this is some some funk. It's the split right down the middle, 50-50. That's not how you spell shiest, kid, but welcome. Uh, Medjin, you got a mic? We gotta wait, we gotta wait for some, gotta wait for some movement. Hey, thanks, Vape. Appreciate it. Better than network TV. Imagine you got a mic. I need some acquiescence quickly. Three, two, no mic, no team. Get the trash out. How do you play a game with no mic? Get the trash out of here. Oh, Dan, what are you drinking? Dan, what are you drinking? What is this? What is this? Dan, I'm drinking... What's all this noise? This this is bee nectar. I draw it out of bees. It's not co... It's nectar from bees. We need to, uh, we got to remove that song from, uh, the, the rotation, please. I don't know how that, someone just, I don't know how that got past security. The song should not be in the playlist. Where's our teammate? Someone needs to screen our playlist before we <laughs> we bring it on the show. I'd say we uh, remember we have two goals here, two goals. We're gonna clean 
No trash. No trolling. Clean. Cleaning up Twitch one show at a time. Clean entertainment. Entertainment. <laughs> oh. Please watch Profanity. My little brother's watching. I'm right there with you. Clean entertainment. Can we get. Do we go solo again? Dan, can you explain your infatuation with the greatest rapper of all time? Do I need to do that? Do I need to explain why? Oh, I think we got a doozy here. I think we got a doozy here. Hey, you got a mic? Come on. With a name like that, you have to have a mic. Do you have a mic? Give me a mic. Mike. Mike. Do you have a mic? Yes or no? Mike? Do you have a mic? Yes? Mike? Mike? Do you have a mic? His name's the 48th Gamer and he doesn't have a mic? No mic. Okay. Well, I wish you best of luck in your endeavors, but around these parts, no mic, no teammate. Get that trash out of here. <laughs> Thoughts on Eminem? Um, I'll listen to a song or two. I was, uh, he's good. It's not my, uh, cup of bees nectar. It's a school night. No mic, no play. <laughs> what about, a, I'll take a potato mic, man. We don't discriminate on the type of mic you have. There, there's great characters out there <laughs> with an Idaho red spud Ricardo 111 Let's See what we're made of here. Why am I no longer a teacher? Um, just uh, Pursued other opportunities Ricardo do you have a mic? Ricardo do you have a mic? Ricardo. Uh, Ricky, don't lose that microphone. No mic? No mic. You got that bleach blonde hair, though. Um, Dan, I'm thinking about dropping $800 on some Yeezys. Should I acquiesce? Well, it all depends on your personal financial situation. If to you, $800 is a drop in the bucket, which I'm guessing uh, by your name. Uh, Gumpster. I would imagine you're a champion of the waste disposal industry. You probably run a, a small waste company. $800 to you, you probably... That's probably just a drop in the bucket. All right, what do we got here? Noob Noob 420. Uh, yo, you got a mic? Yeah. What's going on? Chilling, man. Trying to get these W's. Yeah, you got that, want to get that chicken dinner? Yeah, fuck you, yeah. Yo, can you just watch the language? My little brother's watching. Oh, sorry. All right, we'll give it a we'll give it a whirl here, buddy. Let's do it. Uh, have you ever won a random duo before? Uh, that's the only match that I've actually won was in a duo. <laughs> with a random player, or with a buddy. Yeah, it was a random. What was the key to success? Uh, let him get all the kills, and I killed the very last guy. Dude, <laughs> how good did it feel when your name popped up number one winner, winner, chicken dinner in yellow oh, font? It was fantastic. All right, my friend. Let's, uh, you want to call the drop or you want me to? You go ahead. I'm cool with wherever. All right, let's go North Georgie. Alright, I like it. Um, we're gonna drop on Stonoma, okay? Cool. Two one drop on Stonoma. No one ever questions that. Not what we've been doing this since this kid was in diapers and no one asks what Stonoma is. One day they will. Um what's the origin story of your name? Uh it's from Rick and Morty. And then just about 420 at the end of it. <laughs> Who's Noob Noob? 
It's uh, it's the character. I don't know if you've ever seen that show. <laughs> he's he's only in like one episode. It's not even my PC. It's my buddy's. And he he did that. Wait, so you're at your friend's house right now? Uh, well, we're roommates. Are you in college? Uh, no. Oh, you work? We got. Yes. What do you do for work? Uh, work at Top Golf. Oh, nice. Hey, go to this first, uh, see these three puzzle pieces? Go to the first one. I'll go to the second one. Yeah, I gotcha. Um, what's Top Golf? It is a, basically like a driving range, but they have, uh, like microchips in the golf balls. So it's, it's kind of like, I guess you can compare it to like bowling, but for golf. And then you like, <clears throat> you try to hit the balls in these targets and it gives you different points for like where you hit it in the targets. Um, is it indoors? Cool. Um, no, it's outside, but it's like you're you're covered by a roof and everything. But it's like you walk into the building and then you go out to the part that's like where the, all the mats and stuff are, and you're hitting outside. But there's like big ass nets like lining the sides. Yo, is there like um, is it like a carnival game? No, it's more. I mean, it's I don't know if you've ever been to a driving range. Before, Yo, dude, someone's but, I mean, in my building. I gotta get out of here. All right, I feel you. I'm coming to your build. I'm go I'm coming to your building. Actually, I'm going one over. But look, dude, can you get window eyes on mine? There's a. He is definitely on the second and or third floor. I gotcha. You see him? Be careful though. I, I'm trying to grab this. Wait, so it's like a carnival, quick, or it's right. not like a carnival? <laughs> <It's too> <coughs> no, it's like a. Are you okay, man? Like a Are you sick? Yeah, I'm just. I'm just now coming down with something. You should take care of yourself, man. I'm trying. Wait, so I've never been to Top Golf, so it's like a, like do you stay stationary? Do you move around? What do you do? Yeah, I don't know if you've ever been to a driving range or like, seen like a golf driving range. It's pretty much like that, but you're just like hitting balls into a target, and you get points for hitting them into there. And then it's like a, I mean, it's like a restaurant type thing too. So like we serve food and everything. What kind of food? <laughs> Oh, uh, dude. Like, ah, shit. That's my bad, dude. Top golf it up, my friend. Later. <laughs> We're better than that. We're better than that. <laughs> Run it back. Run it back. We gotta have a great dial. Let's go. Gumpster underscore. Don, your red champion shirt with pride. I know you're a champion of your industry, your academic environment, your local community, giving your civic duty to those around you because you're a champion. Welcome aboard. Appreciate the support of the show. Welcome, Gumpster with a champ and chain in the chat. Hello. <laughs> we got a lot. What's up, man? What's up, man? What's going on? Uh, nothing. Flower Pusher K. Definitely a champion of your industry. Welcome aboard. Champ and chain in the chat. Thank you so much for using an Amazon Prime account to support the show. You ready to get this chicken dinner, kid? Oh yeah. Exo Kaiser. Welcome to the Red Shirt Champions. Welcome Exo Kaiser Soze. Definitely a champion. And the Kevin Spacey Ooh. environment. Welcome aboard. That's what we call that's you got one of those. You, you just got you one. Drop? Champion shirt. <laughs> Appreciate the support. Welcome. Hello. Gannon. Yo, yo, yo. Yo, yo, yo. Hello. Yo, yo, yo. Welcome what do you want again to with the champ and the chain and everywhere. I just, oh, thank you for all the love and support. Uh, let's let's ride it out here. You want to go mansion? Uh, ride, sure. ride it out, ride it out. Uh, let's, let's okay. Go. Thank you guys for the support, love. We'll get a, we'll get a dinner here for you. This time I'm going to jump out. Uh, we'll call it on Sonoma. You should see just chains what? everywhere. On Sonoma. And Stenoma? I don't know. 2-1 drop? It's Cape Cod. It's 
we got uh, we got some honesty. Uh, yeah, what's your name, Psy One Two Three? What does that mean? What the frick? I accidentally pressed F. God dang it. Uh huh. What? So, what's what does your name mean? My name. I don't. I can't understand you very well. Say it again. Yeah. What does your name mean? Oh, uh, I I don't know. I just picked random things. If I had a hundred dollars. For every time a kid or That's someone has a name, oh, I just made it up. I just, I just random net generated numbers. it. Yep, up there, random gender. Oh, it was my Xbox 360 name. Oh, that, I, I pulled it out of my hat. Oh, it's, if I had a hundred dollars, I'd be Bill Gates. Um, it's my actual real life name. Oh, okay, That's what I was. Yo, dude, it's spicy here. We got. Are you with me? No, I'm. I pulled my shoot way too early. I couldn't really. I actually pressed F. Dude, it's two on one. I'm about to. Push F on these guys. You got to get here. Don't come not. Coming, you come coming. strapped gonna, though. Come should, strapped. Do you have a gun or no? I do, but not a very good one. You got to come strapped, kid. Don't come here with that, that, that foo foo lame. Okay. You need to be strapped. Okay, I. Oh frick. I appreciate I, you not swearing. <laughs> no, I'm serious. Uh, it shows uh, a lot of restraint. I couldn't make it right there because I was Why does it, trying to. Is, I'm he get swear, is he saying a derogatory? And then come over there. And then we'll wreck face. Face, holy. Uh. Yo, how close? Okay, dude, 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 they're outside me. They're outside of you? Okay, I'm coming. I'm, coming, I'm not coming yet, but I'm going to get a gun really quick if there's a gun in here. Oh, I got an M416. Okay, just take it easy, kid. I can tell you're excited. This game's about self-control. Just like you don't swear, that's self-control. We can win with that sort of effort. Okay? No, no, I'm just excited because there's an M16. <laughs> Dude, are you eating Laffy Taffy or something, kid? No. What are you chomping on? Uh, gum. <laughs> Bubble yum? <laughs> uh, sure. What are you chomping on, Laffy Taffy? <laughs> It sounds like you're eating Laffy Tab. All right, dude, we got to we got to dial in. We got to dial in. I uh, saw a dude, I think, or it's just a leaf. I don't know. <laughs> That's a big difference. Yeah. Where are they? Are they? Yo, someone's in my building. I can't. I can't. Dude, they're in my building. In my building. I'm coming. I'm coming. Are you shooting or is that someone? <laughs> need help. Need help. I'm coming. I'm coming. Oh. oh that freaking Laffy Taffy kid! Stop eating the Laffy Taffy! Get over here! I'm watching you. You gotta, you gotta earn your Laffy Taffy back. He's up here. To the <laughs> Yet. Nice. Okay, he's got a buddy. He's got a buddy. Don't, don't. Just chill, chill. Bait him out. Use your Laffy Taffy. Use the Laffy Taffy. This is your moment, kid. This is where you go from boy to a man. A boy to a man. Oh. oh. That's why you're bubble cum. Just joking, man. It was fun playing with you. Oh, this close. <laughs> Run it back. Run it back. Run it back. That kid. Had... Dude, don't lie to me and tell me it's not Laffy Taffy. I need. Okay, I got to ask you guys. I want to see ones in the chat if it was gum. I want to see twos in the chat if it was Laffy Taffy. <laughs> what? I. What's up with this game? Come on, pub. Hey, if you typed one, you're not being honest with yourself right now. That was 100% Laffy Taffy. What's going on with this? What is this? <laughs> Give us our PUBG. Get this music back up. This has got potential to be intro song right here. This is like a beat Kanye did probably in college, but it's not. <laughs> Fruit roll-ups. Tell me this doesn't have intro song potential. What's up, Caitlin? Intro song? Later, Tater. We probably got we got a couple more runs in us here. 
Sit yourself down. 12 months? One year. Imagine that. You. One year. Being a champion in the curtain industry. There's other people down the road selling the budget curtains. You walk in your, in your store, it's golden, silver, copper, metal fiber waved into the curtains. Because you're Mr. Curtain. If you want high quality curtains, you go to the champion of industry, Mr. Curtain Shop. Welcome, Mr. Curtain. The one year of support. Champs and chains in the chat. You roll up into your store tomorrow. You never rolled up there before. Blood Raven, you got a mic? This is a great intro song. Yo, you got a mic? Yeah, I do. What's up, Dan? Let's go! Let's do it. This guy's got a shot. Yo, 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 where's... yo, yo. Hey, um, you won any random PUBGs before? Uh, just two. Okay, what's uh, what's been the key to success for you? Uh, we're going spicy, spicy. Uh, not getting too crazy. Not being too much out in the open. Oh, uh, you feeling like a C dot drop? Outro worthy song? Okay. Yeah, okay. I'm down. Blood Raven's all about that 40k. You like that Warhammer stuff, huh? <laughs> I don't know about that. No? Are we going to drop on Stenoma? 2-1 drop? Yeah. He didn't drop. Oh, there you go. All right. Did you know what C dot is? No. Okay. So see the C with a dot in it? It's actually like uh, a backward so C. Three buildings. Which side of the airfield. Uh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So that's C dot. Got it. Okay. We're gonna take the north side of the C if it's right side up. Okay. Okay. Got it. All right, uh, we got a lot of action behind us. Ooh, someone's beating us to the north side. You see him? Are you close? Yeah. Yeah, right behind you. All right, so... You going for rooftop? Or yeah, you go roof. I'm going to go rooftop. You go, uh... Ooh, it's going to be a rooftop battle, dude. I, I got nothing. You got... Are you on the roof? Uh, no, I'm on ground. <clears throat> what the heck? Desync, where you at? You got a gun? <laughs> oh. Hey, don't kill me. Dude, come punch these fools. Come punch them. Save me. You got this. Oh. Fisticuffs. Yo, you want to run that back? I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to invite you, all right? Oh. He turned down the invite. Let me see if I can invite him. Blood Raven Klutz. I think that guy had a shot. <laughs> Dude, tell me that wasn't desync. Blood Raven. Klutz. Says he's offline. He left us. Offline, do not disturb. Well, while we're at it, let's just see if low graphics is online. The frame rate's pretty trash. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We'll get it fixed for the next show. But I appreciate this. The support is sticking around. We're going through a little technical difficulty. Just when it gets a little hot, when it gets a little spicy, that's when we, we run into some trouble. Um, but it will be fixed. I, I promise you. That, that kind of stuff doesn't just fly under the radar around here. Hey, Sanchi, appreciate the love. You miss Laffy Taffy Kid. There's more Laffy Taffys out there in the future. That kid, I will say, that kid had a H1Z1 potential. For those who've been around for a while, back when we played H1Z1, there were a couple special ones. Actually, it was a CSGO kid, believe it or not. Then if I get easies, which one do you suggest? Personally, I like the Belugas. Uh, Carbon, you got a mic? Hey, what's oh, going on? Yeah. Let's go. You ready to get that chicken dinner? Yeah, let's fucking do it, bro. Dude, can you just watch the language? My little brother's watching. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's all right. My bad. It's all right. I'm babysitting. And if he, like, starts, you know, repeating words he hears, then I can't play and babysit, you know? 
You got me. Yo, are you playing in like a poker hall or something right now? <laughs> no, my buddy's Cyber Cafe. Oh, really? Yeah. Where at? Uh, California. He has a Cyber Cafe in California? Yep. I thought those were uh, not local. <laughs> Keep yeah, well, I, what, are you in California? No, no, I didn't know they had those in the United States of America, I guess is what I should have said. Oh, gotcha. Yo, yo, hang tight. No, no, hang tight. Let's go, let's go uh, military base. Oh, man. It's going to be rough. You think so? <clears throat> Why do you think it's going to be rough? Because no one's been dropping. Oh, now they're starting to drop. You want to go... You I'm wanna, watching the plane. You want to go Novo, then? Nah, let's do it. Military. I'm down. Dude, I told you, we don't discriminate against... Potato Mike is better than no Mike. Normally, I uh, put push to talk, but it's not working right, so sorry, I got all talk on. Dude, hey, I just appreciate that you got a mic. We're going to drop on Sonoma. Two and drop? Yep, drop. Um, you got a lot of chicken dinners under your belt? Probably like 15. Oh, oh, oh I see you, Mr. MLG. <laughs> Yo, are other people in the Cyber Cafe playing PUBG as well? Oh yeah, my my uh, close boy. We we normally do like three man or four man. So if you want to take my name down, you can always join us. Yeah, but uh, I'm gonna tell your buddy he's gonna be waiting a while because we're gonna win this chicken dinner. All right, for sure. Uh, where are you at? What part of C dot you going? I'm um, I'm going to this three the three two story house over here. It's been a pretty good uh, spot. Oh dude, there's so many uh, dropping I'm, here. I'm roasted. <laughs> Oh. oh, dude, I should have went with you. Let's see if this guy's good. Dude, you're putting him down. Oh, come on. Run it back. <laughs> we're getting some we're getting some glories though. We're getting some legends, man. Can't say we're not. <laughs> Alright, run it back, run it back, run it back, run it back. I say congratulations, Zaith. Alright, what do we got here? Are we are we on a mic streak? We may have got like five in a row. Zaith, you got a mic? You have a mic? I think if we get a good mic, I should not go spicy. Do you have a microphone? No mic? You know what they say in the business. No mic, no teammate. Get the trash out of here. Kevlar, I think, just added us. We could, we could add him back. No mic, trash out. Kaiser, thank you for dropping the trash. What was this guy's name? Kevlar what? Carbon Kevlar. Oh, he's already in a party. The trash out. No mic, no deal. Just get it out. We're cleaning up Twitch one show at a time. If you don't, if you don't have what it takes... To plug something into your USB slot that allows you to communicate with humans. You just want to sit there by yourself, play a, a team-based game and talk to yourself. That's the type of trash we're cleaning up. <laughs> Pulsar 89. Pulsar 80. What is just you're gonna dress up like Bane. You better have a mic. Wait till we get it. Wait till we get a quick twitch muscle. Quick twitch. Come on, you got a mic? We, we don't we don't have movement yet. No movement. Doc, we got move. Mo Pulsar, you got a mic? Pulsar, do you have a, a microphone? Yeah, man. Let's go. 
Do you know how hard it is to find someone with a mic in this game? Yeah, and that speaks English. Dude, you ready to win this chicken dinner? You ready? Fuck yeah, let's do it. Dude, can you just watch your language? My little brother's watching. I'm babysitting. If he starts dropping Fs, I can't play anymore. Oh yeah, that's right, man. <laughs> All right, all right. What's uh? You want to call the drop or you want me to call it? You can call it. Go ahead. Uh, let's go. Let's go a little bit off the beaten path. Okay. Y are you cool with Nova? Oh yeah, I'm done. All right, all right. <laughs> um, what's uh? What's the story with your name? Uh, no, it's just random. If, I'm just telling you. Not much of a story. I now I got two hundred. Uh, on Stenoma, two one drop. He dropped before I said Stenoma. What do you mean it's random? Uh, I don't know. I was playing another game before and I just kind of like came in my head. They, the game, a lot of the names I usually take were taken, so. What are the like pulsers that were referring to like the heartbeat? The pulse of a heartbeat? Yeah, kind of, I guess. I don't know. Well, I don't, I, I'm not really like when, when you created it. Were you thinking along those lines? <coughs> uh, I can't remember why. I think something in my room was named, the brand was named Pulse. And so it kind of came to my brain. That. Yo, are you <laughs> sick or something? Yeah, dude. What's going around, man? You got like uh, chicken flu or something? I don't know, man. Just like a nasty cough I've had for like a month. What, uh, you been skiing or what have you been doing? Uh... Well, I was traveling last month, so I think that's what kind of did it. <clears throat> what were you traveling for? Uh, just for uh, the summer. Like for vacation or for work? Oh, yeah, yeah, just for vacation. Where'd you go? <laughs> the Alps or something? No, I, I went to Europe, but uh, just kind of like all over the place. Was it kind of like a, a coming-of-age trip? Uh, I don't know. Just something I feel like everyone should do at some point. So this that was your that was the summer of Pulse or eighty nine. Yeah, that's it. Where in Europe did pretty you go? <clears throat> uh, pretty much all the big cities on the western side and a little bit of Central Europe as well. Yo, where is this guy? <clears throat> I basically uh, stayed like three nights at every place, so it's kind of like fast moving, I guess. What was your favorite locale? <clears throat> uh, the partying was the best in Budapest. That's probably my favorite city, I'd say. When you say partying, uh, what do you mean? Uh, just like the nightlife there is really good. Pants man, appreciate the pants. It's not that expensive, so it's like a bonus. Throw some chains in the chat for pants, man. <clears throat> appreciate it. Uh, what do you mean like, uh, <coughs> like, like clubs? Uh, well, I don't know. Hard to explain, I guess. Just like their bars there were good. Oh, uh, so, so you went for, like, a partying trip, not for, like, a cultural experience? Well, taking the culture, but also quite a bit of partying. Okay, well, what's, uh, what's Budapest like? What's it like? Oh, it's, it's gorgeous, and they have, like, thermal baths and, like, a lot of nice architecture. I'm kind of into architecture as well, so seeing all that kind of stuff is pretty interesting. Are you an architect? No, no, not at all. What do you do for work? <clears throat> Uh, I'm an electrician. Ah, okay, okay. So you're electrician by day, world traveler by night. Yeah, something to keep me occupied. What about yourself? Wait, so you went to Budapest was your number one spot. Why was that your number one spot? Uh, I don't know. I I feel like a lot of the places you go to, it's the people that make the experience. And like I was staying in hostels, so the people that I met there are really awesome, and I had a really good time. So I guess it's more of like a personal experience for me, but. Yeah, did, there's a little everything. Did you meet a special <laughs> someone there? <laughs> uh, yeah, a nice little lady friend, so that was kind of cool. Ah, okay, <laughs> okay. Did you uh, exchange uh, WhatsApp things? Yeah, yeah, yeah. WhatsApp is, like, super popular there. Yeah. Are you from the States or what? <laughs> yeah, I'm from all over. Uh, what, uh, so when you, like, do you still speak to that said individual? Oh, yeah. Not like every day anymore because it's been like half a month, but well, uh, half if I ever go back, she's there. Do you ever think about like, uh, you know, maybe uh, exploring the United States of America and offer that up as a, as a venture? Yeah, well, I'm Canadian, so I could show her uh, Canada. 
Whoa, whoa, you, you met multiple people for multiple WhatsApps? What's that? You met multiple people to add on WhatsApp? Yeah, I've met lots of people that add on WhatsApp. It's just the best way to communicate, I feel like, with them. If you were to try to convince someone to uh, take a journey through Europe, how would you sell it to them? <laughs> oh, how do you sell Europe? I think Europe kind of sells itself. I don't know. There's so much to see. There's so much history. At least compared to Canada, like everything there is like hundreds, if not thousands of years old. Yo, don't hit me with that history stuff. Hit me with the real stuff. I, I, you do, you're talking about you're going to getting food, going to new dance clubs, meeting interesting people. The last thing on your mind is architecture. <laughs> yeah, I don't, it's, it's a little everything. You know what I mean? It depends what you're into. Every trip is different for every person, I feel like. But yeah, the partying is... I don't know. When you stay in hostels, people are always willing to party. It doesn't matter day of the week or what. There's always something going on. How did you know you could and, trust those people? <clears throat> oh, you don't really. Well, you know, you get a feel for people, right? Eat. You follow your instincts. But I don't trust them in the fact that, like, I get blackout drunk or anything. But Yeah, I, would, I wouldn't recommend much. that for anyone, right? You don't recommend that for anyone. No, no. But if I was with my close, close friends, if it happened, I knew I would be okay. But with randoms, obviously, it was a risk. Yeah, no, especially in a foreign country, you know, you... <laughs> You know, yeah, you don't want to get robbed or anything. Yeah, you're living off the land. You just don't know what's going to happen. Yeah, exactly. So, all right, so outside of Budapest, what was your second best locale? Um, ooh, I would say Barcelona was my second. Um, it's, yeah, it's pretty close between the two, actually, but Barcelona was another good one. What did you like <laughs> about Barsi? Oh, the food was fucking so good there. Oh, can you watch the language? My little brother's stuff. watching. But, uh, uh, yeah, the food was just amazing there. Uh, what, what, what's the food like in Barsi? Uh, the seafood, there's a lot of paella. Yeah. It's kind of like a, I don't know if you know what that is, but yeah, it's. I do, but tell me. Really good. And it's like everywhere and they have like tapas, which is kind of like an appetizer, their appetizer. Tapas. Super good. <clears throat> but that, and again, their nightlife is so, is, is way different than here because they don't stop partying like all night. They never end. What do you mean? It never ends. Like no one goes to sleep. Well, eventually, but like they start to, they have their dinner at like 9.30 p.m. And then they hit the club at like midnight. <laughs> so that's like when their night starts. Yo, how much Kanye do they play in the clubs out there? <laughs> how much what, sorry? Oh, <laughs> Kanye? Yeah. And it's, I was kind of surprised at how much like American music or whatever is played over there. But yeah, lots of that. Lots of the top 40 in the clubs and stuff. What you'd expect in like any American club is the same. Yo, Absolutely. but what about Kanye? <laughs> What about Kanye? Yeah, did they play a lot of Kanye? Uh, they probably did. I don't know. I don't pay attention to the music that much. No? Mm, I feel like they played a mix of everything. I heard Despacito quite a bit. That's the one song that's burned into my memory. Really? <clears throat> what, did, what did your friend from Budapest, what was her favorite song? What's her favorite song? Oh, I never asked her favorite song. <laughs> uh, I imagine you did a lot of dancing in the discotheque, no? What's that? Oh, yeah. A lot of drunken dancing, so that's good. Would you go that's back? Too. When, when girls are traveling, it's a lot easier, especially if you meet them in the hospital. It's super good. Would I go back? Uh, I don't know. I feel like there's other places I want to see, but I would I would definitely go back if I had the opportunity. <clears throat> what's, uh, what's a trip like that set you back? Oh, <laughs> Well, Canadian, I spent like I knew this seven guy was grand. Canadian. I knew this guy was Canadian. Seven grand? So, Is that all in? Yeah, yeah that's all in. That's so like all for, your... For a whole month. Uh, so what is that? How, what's that per day? 100 <clears throat> bucks a day? No, more than that. 200 bucks a day. Just, what is it? 30 days? So if it was 700, divided that by three, yeah, like over 200 bucks a day. Yeah, it's quite a bit, but it's just the flight. I don't know. I wasn't too worried about the money value, the money, you know? Yeah, but, man, it's, uh, a, it's, it's a coming-of-age <laughs> trip. One one girl's yeah. journey from Milan to Minsk. <laughs> yeah, something like that. <laughs> it's what you do when all your friends go buy houses and get married and have kids. You just take a trip somewhere, you know? <clears throat> is that kind of like what you're feeling? You're like, hey, look, this is my time to shine. Yeah, kind of. Like, why not, right? Yeah. I wanted to go, and they could never convince them to go because they don't have, either have the money or they just have too much other stuff, so... Yeah, man, it's not. not easy growing up in the mean streets of Saskatchewan, you know? 
<laughs> You're close, not Saskatchewan, but close. Where? Alberta. Ah. <laughs> Wait, let me ask this. What kind of job you have where you can just up and leave for three months or a month at a time? <laughs> uh, well, I told you I was an electrician, but you work in the oil fields. It's a little different. You make enough money where you can take that much time off. What do you mean? You just stack chips for a while and then you say, mm -hmm. I'm out? Yeah, you do shift rotations. They pay you a lot of money to kind of have a... I don't know. You live up north, basically, so you just save a bunch of money and you make a bunch of money, and then you can just take some time off. Everyone does it. <clears throat> when you say live up north, do you mean like you live off the land or what? No, but you like live in a camp, like a work camp, essentially, where they feed you and stuff, but you can't like go to the city or like do anything. You just you're basically there to work, eat, sleep, and that's it. What do you mean work camp? Like, is it? Uh, are the conditions okay? That sounds like tents oh, and like. Oh yeah. No, it's, I guess the work camp's not a proper way to say it, but basically they set you up in a, like, a, it is a camp, but it's super nice. Like, there's free food, they pack, they give you free lunch and dinner and everything. It's just where you live and it's close to the work site, they, so they fly you up there every time. Oh, yeah, I got you. I is I, it like uh, hotels, or <laughs> what is it? It's really, the room is really close to a hotel, but it's not a hotel. It's kind of something they built to house their own workers, so... I got it's you. It's not terrible. It's just the fact that you're like isolated, right? I, I will. Uh, and you're there with a bunch of basically other dudes, so there's not much going on. Hey, um, I'm working on the frame rate. I appreciate you sticking around. By the next show, the frame rate will be fixed. I appreciate it. <laughs> um, okay, I got you. So what's what's next for you? What's the next big trip? Oh, I don't know. I haven't thought that far ahead yet. <laughs> so now are you back on the grind? Yeah, back on the grind for now. I have a wedding to go to next year, so that'll probably might be my trip. I don't know. Where's I the wedding at? Thailand, though. Uh, Jamaica. <laughs> yo, yo, I got an idea. What's that? Why don't you invite uh, your friend from Budapest to be your date? Yeah, it's possible. Dude, it's possible. you got to keep, but you can't like say, hey, two weeks have passed. You're going to let that flame die out. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how things work out. <coughs> Well, you don't sound very uh, optimistic about that. Oh, it's possible. It's an expensive trip, though. For seven days, it's like two grand. So, it's, uh, yeah, it's not cheap. No, to to um, to where? To Jamaica, for because it's like an all-inclusive wedding. So, yeah. Ah, but at least when you're there, you know, hey, you can have. Yeah, your... well, that's it, right? You don't have to worry about anything, but. You can have the. You can have the time of your life. Hey, have you found any snipers? I got a, a 4X for you, by the way. Uh, no, I got an M16. That's about it. There we go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I got a um, an AK here for you. You want it? Uh, Sure. Yeah, I can get down with that. Get copied up, son. Oh, extended quick. What jump. are you rolling with? Uh, I got a Scarby and a car. Okay, sweet. <clears throat> All right. I think we're in pretty good shape. Uh, how are you bullet-wise? And you, need a, you, you want a 4X? Yeah, sure. I'm just picking up a little bit of 762 now, so I should be okay. <laughs> okay, I dropped the forex. I'm gonna mark where I am. Yeah, I'll head over there now. All right, so go to yellow. There's a forex and a uh, and an AK for you. That's it's got some pieces on it. Sweet. Wait, so so you're not an electrician. You're in oil. Well, no, I'm an electrician, but I it is in the oil field. I'm an electrician in the oil field. So, do you get free oil? Do I get free oil? No, I don't get free oil. <laughs> what? I don't what? know what I would even. I don't even know what I would do with free oil. Save. Oh, it? You mean, do you mean gas? Do you yeah, mean yeah, gas? yeah. Do you get free gas? Petrol? Oh no, 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 no. Not that good. How did you get involved in the oil industry? Uh, well, I live in Calgary, so it's a big oil city. I thought Calgary is all about the meat. They are known for their meat, Alberta beef, but uh, it's a big, big oil town. Not quite as big as Edmonton, but uh, yeah, a lot of people work here, work up in the oil sands. <coughs> it's not uncommon. Got you, got you. And it's good money, so other people do it. Yo, I didn't ask you an important question. Did you go solo to Europe? Yeah, yeah, I did. Dude, mad respect. Was there any party that's nervous? Or you're just like, hey, let's do this. I was when I first got there, but then once I was there for like, I don't know, a week, not even a week, it was it's fine. Dude, so it was but, a. Yeah, it is. It was a it was a true coming of age story then. Yeah, yeah, sorta. So it was good. Good for I you, man. 
Sounds like you're going places in life. Well, maybe. Just do what I want to do. That's kind of how I live my life. Yo, uh, do you think at any point you'll kind of, like, settle the train down a little bit? Uh, probably one day I will, but I don't know. I'm not really ready for that yet. No? No. You sound fairly no. young. I'm going to guess you're, like, what, 24? Uh, 28. Okay, so I'm... Oh, dude, dude, I got eyes. Look at this shot. Watch this. Watch this, watch this. Yatata! You, you have an 8X? I got a, I got an 8X on this boy. That's why I can see him. Where, where do you see him? He's on the bridge <laughs> at 330 behind a US. He's bridge trolling. Oh, uh, okay. Yo, I'm making a lot of noise, so someone's going to come and try to be a hero. Okay. Yeah, I can watch our backs. <laughs> see, so, someone's shooting at us. I shouldn't have done that. That's yeah. my fault. Oh, it's all good, man. Uh, I don't know where those shots were coming from. Do you have any boosties? They sounded far away. I got two energy drinks, and you want one? Yeah, let me trade you. Just... <laughs> yo, yo, dude, run, 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 run. Get back to the, get back to our hut. Get back to the hostel. That's my fault. I made too much noise. Did you pick up those firsties or no? What's that? Did you pick up those firsties that I dropped? Oh, you dropped first aid? No, no, I didn't see. It's all right. It's all right. All right, we got to uh, <coughs> we got to reassess here. That was my fault. Not not That's smart. That was not using the hostel life. <laughs> what was it like sleeping in a hostel? Uh, it's okay. It's basically like bunk beds for the most part. Like with other people? Oh yeah, yeah. I yeah, mean, you do like rooms of like eight or ten. Yo yo, come here real quick. Yo, put this shirt on that's Let's on the floor. Go. Matthew Pipe. Hold on, we gotta dial in here. You got that red shirt? What's that? You have that red shirt on? Uh. Oh, you want this one? Yep. Alright. Um, wait, were you concerned that you were going to get, like, something bad was going to happen to you? No, the biggest thing I was concerned about was, uh, getting my passport stolen or getting pickpocketed. But aside from that, I wasn't too worried. What did you do to prevent a pickpocket? Uh, well, they basically told me if you keep it in your front pocket, that it's pretty much impossible for them to pickpocket it. And that don't get too drunk. Those are my two words of advice I had. What is uh what does front pocket have to do with anything? Yo, you got someone? Where at? Yeah, no, the hill. Numbers? Where at? Let's Give me a number. They're what what? 330, 330, 330. They're running behind those blue cans. I think they're hiding behind there now. Blue cans. 330. Yeah, at at uh, 285, sorry. Those blue sea cans. <coughs> blue sea cans. Yeah, they're inside of it now. Oh, the shipping container? Yeah, yeah, shipping containers. Oh, okay. Yeah, they're inside of the one on the right. Or they're behind it. Yo, dude, you got to give me some calls for you open fire, you know? Then we could double sorry, blap sorry. them. Those are probably the guys that were shooting at us. All right, so keep your eye. Will you keep your eyes? I'm going to go try to get a diff different angle. Yeah. Do they throw smoke? <laughs> yeah, they throw they threw smoke. Yeah, I can't see now. Oh, they're still there. They threw a smoke, but then they ran back inside. Was that, Did you shoot one bullet there? Yeah. He's on the left, yeah. He's on the left. They're sneaking on the left. Okay. Oh, shit. Yo, yo. You got eyes? You're still looking at them, right? Yeah, they're, they're still over there. Okay, they're I got it. I'm, re I'm right at the wall, so I can see to the right side. But if they went left side, I could be in trouble here. Yeah, they're on the left side. Okay, I got eyes on one. Here we go.
Oh, they're running now. They're, they're back. Way behind now. I knocked out one of them. Come on. Get out of this first person crap. His buddy's reviving him. They're behind the tree at, uh, I don't know if you got eyes at 285. Yeah, I see him. <laughs> Yo, I, I just crushed his helmet. Okay, I killed one of them. Yo, uh, he's he's toast. We got him. Is his other buddy dead, too? Did you kill both of them? Oh, yeah, it looks like two died. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna do it. <clears throat> Can you give me some crossfire here? I don't know if he's dead for sure. Yeah, I'll keep your okay, eyes. But they're, oh, no, there's fuck. Oh. Dude, watch your language. Yeah, they're both, they're both down. They're oh, both sorry, down. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yo, do you need anything? I don't think we need anything. Uh, I could use first aid, but aside from that, no. <coughs> oh, SKS. Ooh. Yo, loot this clown. We got, yeah. I'll take that flash hider. I dropped a car in there if you want a sniper. Did you get a firsty out of it? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Good. Let's go. Good, good calls, buddy. Good calls. Good calls. Yep. Uh, we're, we're probably okay <laughs> here, huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, Dan, you change a car for a skin, so why would you do that? It's preference. Fucking preference. Um, so what's the next step on the ladder of your career? Um, I'm going to use the first aid real quick. Okay. Um, basically, I could get into, like, project management or just, like, running a job site sort of thing, but I'm still pretty early in my career, so that probably won't be for a while. Because you don't want to, or it's just not, uh, you got to pay your dues usually a little bit? The old, usually, the, yeah, you got to pay your dues a little bit. Like, I run crews of, like, small guys, like three or four guys, but I don't run, I haven't run really, like, big jobs or anything like that. But Dude, have that, you ever, you don't really get more pay. Have you ever heard of a YouTuber called T.D. Barrett? Mm, no. Nah. You sound exactly like him. Oh, really? I don't know <laughs> if that's a good thing or a bad thing. No, no, it's, it's, it's good. He's a, he's a nice guy. Oh, that's good. All right, all right, all right. So, have you ever been to the states? Yeah, oh yeah, I've been all over the states, quite a few places. I feel like. I feel like you've I done a lot of traveling. I, I I grew up in uh, Ontario, along the border of Detroit. So. Where? Windsor. Oh, I dude, I'm from Michigan. I used to go to Windsor, and I was uh, of 19 age all the time. Yeah, yeah, that's what Americans like to do. <laughs> Why you gotta say it like that? I just like to look at the culture. <laughs> Yeah, well, is that what it is? Yeah, there's so much culture in Windsor. Don't BS me, man. Dude, we, we gotta go. Dude, we gotta go yellow. We gotta go yellow. Okay. Yeah, Hold yeah, on. Yeah, can yeah. you can you get? You gotta hurry up, dude. Um, dude, what do you mean? There's a lot of culture there. Uh, yeah, I guess so. There's bars in the casino. That's as much culture as you're gonna get there, man. Well, this was a time when there weren't casinos in Detroit, man. You, you get a, a young impressionable kid. You see what's out uh, there in the world. <laughs> well, that's good, I guess. But usually when there's trouble downtown, it's either someone from America or it's someone from Toronto. One of the two. <laughs> Why do you say it like uh, it's always the Americans' fault? <laughs> I'm just saying statistically that's what it is. I'm not, you know, not negative or positive. This guy is a fact. textbook. Mm. Yo, uh, why'd you leave Ontario? Uh, for the work. There hey, wasn't real, much going on there. <laughs> real quick, no pressure, but we're top 16 right now. We get, we got a shot at this thing. Yeah, dude. Oh, wow. All right, hang tight, hang tight. Yeah, yeah. All right, so can you look right? I'll look left. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah you look left. I got I got left. You got right. My bad, my bad. Tell me to get right, kid. Uh, are you from Kingston? What's that? Uh, uh, right. Windsor. Okay. <clears throat> It's like 10 hours uh, west of Kingston. Okay, okay. Did you ever go to Michigan? Oh, we got shots. We got to be careful here. Yeah, I used to go to Detroit for like retail and stuff. Yo, don't shoot at anyone. We're, we're in a horrible position. There's that, there's that band right there. Yeah, we, we got to let him stay. 
Don't shoot, okay? Okay. What we'll do is we'll get just right behind that yellow buggy and then heal up. Hopefully they don't see us. You got me? Yeah. They don't see us, so we gotta be quiet. Uh, forget it. We're taking our shots. My bad, dude. I should have been patient. No, it's all good, man. I'm healing up real quick. Are you okay on heals? I don't have any first aid. I just got bandages. I got a first <laughs> here for you. Can you crawl to me? Yep. yep. Thanks. Yep. Just chill here. Don't, uh... They don't, they still don't know where we are. Yeah, yeah, they're hiding behind their, their truck. Let's, um... I've got a grenade. Talk no. to if we want to ask to engage in. Do you have a Kobe? A what? Do you have a Kobe? Do you have a grenade? Let's go. Yeah. Uh, can you chuck it there? Yeah. They see us. They Kobe'd us. Push them. <sighs> Shit. Fuck. Overcooked. I got more. Two, three, four. <laughs> Sit yourself down! Sit yourself down! Go back to Kingston. <laughs> Alright, we gotta be careful here, dude. Top 14. I don't we gotta we gotta spread here a little bit. Uh loot yeah, that dude. thing for all it's worth. You got any boosties in there? What does he got? He's got a med kit, some bandages, eight times scope. <coughs> okay. Oh, we gotta move, dude. We gotta go, we gotta go. Uh okay. I think we should, uh, we gotta take this Jeep. I know it's risky, we gotta t Okay, okay, I'm gonna do it. Uh, get, it, get out your main gun piece because we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to sh roll up and shoot someone here. Yeah. <laughs> okay, hang tight. I'm gonna stop it right here. Okay, chill, chill, chill. Okay, we got a buggy to our right. Uh, just get to this rock and we'll just... Okay, get to the rock. I'm not shooting. Okay. Okay, we know he's to our west. But, um, I'm not worried about him. I'm worried about behind us. Okay. Nice work, man. This is... Top nine. You got you got nothing, right? No eyes, no eyes. No, that dude's close. Yet. That's okay. He doesn't know we're here. Wish I could see on this other side. Ugh. Let them make the don't let them make the moves, dude. What kind of scope you got on that thing? Uh, I got four, uh, two times. Okay. <coughs> they don't know we're here. We're okay. Nine. Yep. Okay, I see. You. Okay, I got. Uh, Oh, no, no, I'm fine. I'm, I'm literally cheap. You want peeking. me to throw my nade? I have another no, grenade. No, no, we're good. He does. He's just peeking. I see. You look at the dude that's at 255, right? Sit yourself. Sit yourself. All right, that dude. We gave away our position now, so. Uh, your back, bro. Okay. He was solo, so that's good. Um, yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. The Alberta connection. Uh, we gotta make a decision here. Uh, let's, uh, shoot. Okay, I, I got guy, uh, east. He's kind of far. He's, he's behind this tree to our east. Sit yourself, sit yourself. Okay. Chill, chill, chill. Fall. I'm falling back to the rock real quick. Uh, but you gotta push on, buddy. We're gonna yeah, get we're gonna get lit because of this freaking blue. Just save yourself. As soon as you can, go prone. Oh fuck! Oh sorry. sorry. That's okay. Uh, can you crawl to me? Yeah, I'm trying. <clears throat> If you can get out of the uh, blue, I, I can save it. I'm not going to make it. It's all good, man. <coughs> all right, dude. Uh, I should have ran earlier. My bad. Sit yourself. Hang with me. I need I need some <laughs> I need some help. I need some help. Okay, I'm looking, dude. I'm 
I have a- oh, I guess I'm far out, but I have a med kit in my body, but... Dude, do you believe in- in the dream? Yeah, dude. I'm living it. I got faith. Okay, top four. Probably got 1v1v2. I got a snake strat this up, like- like the way you pull oil out of those- those deep wells <laughs> in Alberta. Use the pump. Some people use the pump, other people use the <laughs> siphon. Right now we're siphoning. We're siphoning goodwill. Yeah, dude. I got faith in you, man. If you see any movement, just uh, call me out a number. Yeah, dude. Alright, people are going to start getting antsy here, but we're going to be patient. Yeah, dude. Dude, this dude's dude is- he's a dude. Okay. Yeah, let him duke it out. Oh, it's you. Okay, so it's 2v1. I- I got the jump, I know where they're at. We got a ball out here. We have Kobe's. We got Kobe's. We got Kobe's. Where are they at? Look, and I don't see him. At least you got the high ground. Where they at? Where they at? I'm looking, dude. <laughs> Good buddy, you toss those nades. Oh, man. On this day, we become legendary. Where are they? I see you. They're pretty out. Where's daddy at? Where's daddy at? I'm looking. Come on, heal me, you piece! Oh, nice. Where is he? He's gonna be behind that tree. Set you! you're an animal. <laughs> let's go! Oh, let's go! Nice that's straight! Dude. You take that Alberta beef and you take it and you dip it in the oil and you enjoy yourself. Enjoy your chicken dinner, son. They don't serve them like that in Canada. Let's go! Get that trash out of here! You wanna play 2v1? Get the most persistent inquisitor on Twitch? Sit yourself! Get that 